It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots, and today's show is sponsored by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. There are no hidden fees or price hikes, and all websites are optimized for mobile, and it's so simple. Start with a design template and use drag-and-drop tools to make it your own. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase. Now let's start the show, okay? Hezzy's here. In the building. Wax is here. Yo, yo. Uh, Taylor Gang is here. We were having a discussion before the podcast started about um, gaining weight. Ah. Um, it was, I was trying to inform Taylor because Taylor was talking about someone and, you know, talking about how banging the person's body is. And I said, very true. Very true. Mm -hmm. But it was even better at one point in life. I don't know nothing. Right? So my, whole, my whole thing with Taylor is... You can go from fun size to family size real quick with just a few yes. poor choices. Perfect. You know what I mean? And I think when you're young, you don't realize that. When you're young, you just, yeah. you know, you eating all times of night. High. I've seen Taylor eating salt and vinegar chips at nine in the morning with wax. Nope. Now, mind you, <laughs> shaming wax for being fat because wax has gained a little bit. You know what I mean? Come on, come on. Listen, but you understand how much I still work out. I burn the whole lot of calories. No. I know and nobody burning more calories no. than me. You too. Why but do you always think that? You Nobody think you're the best of everything. Right, but I guarantee, like, all right. I'm He's older close. now. He don't realize metabolism <laughs> is slowed down. He thinks he can still do what he used to do. Yeah. Right. I ain't want no. to hear it. No. You, know I have muscle you can't memory, compare though. me to people or that got really fucked up that gained all that weight. And I know how to take mine off. Bro, I don't know if you've seen your waistline lately. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm doing that. I don't even want to take my shit off, but I'm going to give you a couple more weeks. I'm going to sit back and chill e out. I got to take it off. E take off your shirt. <laughs> take off my shirt. You in Miami, though, so it'll be different. I'm out here still in Jersey. It's cold. Yeah, I'm just saying, let me man. See, let me see that body, bro. Do you, <laughs> can you beat Drake? Drake is chiseled, bro. Yeah. The, yeah. the guy had yeah, a shirtless Drake. pick on. Or but you gotta on, understand on anybody who's going through a Ramadan right now is cheating, so you can't even do that. And Drake ain't going through no goddamn <laughs> Ramadan. Oh, that's a Drake good Canadian. Yeah. Yeah, he is. No Ramadan he's in Canada. He's Jewish too, though. Exactly. That's that's definitely why he's not doing Ramadan. Oh, yeah. well, anybody I see that get abs like half of the year, I'd be like Ramadan. So Drake got abs? Yeah. He yeah. said he's cut. If anybody who he's I see cut. working out who's really not like that, you. listen. Yeah, he looks like he's in good shape. All I'm saying is. You talking a lot of shit about how you're in good shape, wax, but you're not willing to pull up yeah, that I'm shirt. Doing Let's see them I'm tits. To tell you, I really don't want to do that right now, but I don't I'm blame you. Eye. All Look, your, I'm listen, doing eye. I'm when not... your cargo pants look like yoga pants, you got a little yeah. bit too much on the thigh. No, it's a, a good little point. too much going on around the thigh area. Is all no, I'm saying. I'm trying to tell you, I really don't want to take my shit off. That's my just, just know that I'm doing eye. He tore his ACL. I mean, it can't be that different. Yeah, see, back right? then, right now, I wasn't working out when I tore my ACL. I was laying back in the bed. And, you and know, wifey was pregnant. Yep. So it was like she kept feeding me. I, she was eating. I was eating in the bed too. Everything smelled smelling all good. I did gain some pounds, but now I'm back on my feet and I'm back I'm racing pit bulls. So let's go. I don't know, you, bro. You tore your ACL, not your Achilles. So my Achilles. I yeah, thought the ACL Achilles. is the Achilles. No, man, I tore nah. my Achilles. Oh, that's two different things. Two different. I didn't yeah. fucking know. I thought ACL was goddamn an abbreviation for Achilles. You, you don't know all the fucking. <laughs> you don't know the song with all the bones and stuff. What's the song with the bones? The left, the left, um, something connected to the right. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all yeah, know what song I'm talking. I know about. that song, but they don't talk about no ACLs in that. They you got don't. to the hip they bones don't. connected to the <laughs> thigh bone. The thigh the bones connected, connected to, to the, the leg bone. Let me pull up some lyrics because yeah. I don't remember hearing no goddamn ACL <laughs> mentioned. That's what I'm saying. So where's the Yo, ACL in that? What's it called? Bone song. Yeah. Bone song. Hey guys, Ooh. are we really not going to talk about um, the decision, bro? The verdict? Oh no, we we gonna yeah. get to that. I was just warming up. I didn't want to come in hot. Yeah. I'm saying, bro. <laughs> the bones. Let's home. come in hot. Oh, the let's human. come in with some heaters, bro. All right, let's the, do the, it. The, the, the texts decision. were lit yesterday. Yes. Yeah, devil, devil, Chauvin, Derek Chauvin. I mean, listen, I'm gonna be honest with you. I was shocked. Um, I didn't expect him to get off, only because All when right. you see. Other police officers testifying against a police officer, which rarely ever happens. Yeah. But when you see other police officers testifying against another police officer, I'm like, oh, he about to get, he definitely about to get hit. 
And even when the verdict came back as fast as it did, I was like, okay, he's clearly guilty because all the jurors are on the same page. I didn't expect guilty on all charges. I'm gonna be honest with you. Mm. That was that was a shocker. Me neither. That was a shocker. Yeah. 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 It was uh I don't know. For whatever reason, I wasn't shocked at all. Really? Yeah. Break it down. I knew it. I knew we were gonna get it right this time, Charlotte. I mean, I thought I we would get it. I, I thought we would get it right. I just didn't think it would be guilty on all charges. Like guilty on all charges means that they're not taking no accountability for nothing. nothing. Like it's all his fault. Yes, they threw him away. Yeah. He, he's not with us. Yeah, he's. I'm not with. He's not with us no more. Yeah, yeah. under the bus. He did everything Black wrong. Ball. Yeah, like Bro, you know, this, this is gonna be one of those cases that is used in future cases, right? Yes. yes. Violence works. Okay, all that peaceful protest and shit is cute, but when you start fucking things up, people consider that when this decision needs to be made. And maybe even the police consider that when they got to testify against one of their brothers. Yeah. Do you think it's I'm um, saying do you think when you start Wait, what? Do you think it was the moment too, meaning like like we've seen these videos before, right? We've seen videos with, you know, men, black men, black women on tape. You know, we seen videos of white dudes on tape getting shot as well, and yeah. they still got off. Yeah, but the mo I'm talking about the moment, right? Like yeah. last year, everybody's sitting still during the pandemic. Nobody really can go nowhere. Everybody's glued to their TVs. Everybody's glued to their phones. It's like it was a moment where you couldn't just brush it off and be like, "Oh, I got other shit to do." Like everybody had was, to face that. Yes, I agree with you. Like it, so many people knew about it. Where there's many others, where you know, if we bring a name up today. You guys might have no clue who it is. Yeah. I might have no clue who it is. Everybody knew about this one, and the video was so yeah. egregious, and everything was there. All the evidence was was there and was needed. But also the fact that like we've seen cities get just fucked up for months. I think people are over that, regardless of how they feel. And this is the most egregious example of a cop fucking up caught on video. Uh -huh. And it's like, I think even people who might have felt a little bit of empathy for Derek Chauvin, I don't even know how you could, but even those people who might have been like all cop, the cop can never do anything wrong, even they were like, man, I'm not trying to see these cities get burned down again. Fuck that. Lock that motherfucker up. Throw the key under the jail. Let's get back to where, uh, let's get back to quote unquote normal or safe situations where we don't feel like the cities are going to burn. I really yeah. think people were afraid of the cities burning. Is, is, is this is this what like victory feel like? I don't feel it. I don't know. I'm so used to feeling injustice. I don't even know what justice feel like. Yeah, if you this know what, is I mean? what it is. I thought I'd be more excited. I'd be more like like I don't. You're not feel supposed it to be excited. All. You shouldn't be excited for shit that's supposed to happen. That's what that's what we were talking about earlier. Like Spence. you're not excited that he got. Conv uh, that he got convicted, right? That is, you're not excited. You're like, yeah, that's what's that's what happened. Yeah, like to happen. the light turns green after it's red. You don't get excited. But I, I was definitely nah, angry when I seen all these other guys get pee. cut off. Though I seen all these other cops get <laughs> cut off, and I was like, I'm not I'm not excited over that. You know what I'm saying? I was really pissed off. So I thought I have more excitement, like the way I was when I was mad. You see what I'm saying? I can tell you why I don't have excitement. I mean, listen, I'm happy. I'm happy that yes, definitely. you know, for for in that situation. You know, justice was served, but to me that was a one-off because until there's some real police reform yes. in place where police officers are always being held accountable in that way, this shit is gonna continue to happen. It's a good start. You yeah. know what I mean? I don't know, I don't even know if it's a good start. Yeah, it's, right. it's a good start if it's actually a shift in our culture that causes some real police reform to go down. And then it seems hey, like right now, you know maybe, just maybe, it seems like Republicans and Democrats might be on the same page yeah, in regards like to getting sure. some police reform going. You know, the, the only the, for last year when the Democrats had the George Floyd Policing Act and Tim Scott had um, his bill, I forgot what his bill was called. But from what I was told, a lot of people liked the Republican bill more. The only difference was the Republicans didn't want to get rid of qualified immunity, which right, I think is which the is biggest the thing. Big thing. You get rid yeah. of qualified immunity, man, and all of these uh, these cops got on their mind is pensions and prisons. They're mm -hmm. gonna think twice, bro. Yeah. You're gonna think twice when you're in that field if you know that if I kill this guy or kill this woman and you know it's it's some malpractice involved, it's gonna come out of my pension in the fucking future. Nah, they ain't doing or mm -hmm. I might end up in prison. Nah. You're gonna think twice, bro. Yeah. And I think I think that's the change that this makes. I don't think that there's gonna be any like legislative change. I just think there's going to be behavioral change because cops are going, 
Oh shit, we could go to prison too? Nah. What the law applies to me too? Yes. What you nah. see? Hundred percent, bro. It's, it's a one off. Let's see, man. Say what? I'm, I'm, I want, I want to be positive on this too. I've man. read three stories today of people getting shot. Yeah, killed. I know he did. This, good, this woman hey, called hey, the bro, police. Th this woman called that, the the that police on her boyfriend. Cop? Huh? That cat, that white lady cop, the Karen cop that thought she had her taser out That's and wild. then shot the dude. Well, that was last week. Yeah, but she's gonna go down too. She's gonna go down for involuntary. She should. Yeah, she, she definitely should. Go she down. should. As I mean, I she should. So you're gonna start to see accountability happen in the courts. And the second it happens in the courts, this is how life works. The second oh. people realize there are repercussions for their actions, they start to change their actions, Absolutely. but not before. It's just sure. like children, right? Like if you don't punish a kid, he's just gonna keep on fucking up until he finds out where the limits are. A hundred percent. Cops yeah. Come some never had those limits really, and now that they're starting to see those limits, shit gonna get, gonna change. I bro. would I would rather put. I I feel you, but I would rather some legislation to go with that. You know but what I'm what saying? What legislation you want? You can't. You're you're already not supposed to kill black people. Yeah, like, but that's the, but, already but, against the law. But if you implement the George Floyd Policing Act, where you ban the chokeholds, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you they gonna find other ways, dude. It's like, but not, but not, but not if, not if you take away qualified immunity. You take away qualified immunity, and now you, you, the police officer, are solely responsible. Not taxpayer dollars, not insurance, yeah. no nothing. This shit comes out of your pension yeah. if you're found guilty and you fuck up. It's Come on, we we all know money, Yo, baby. It's I'd say this. I'd say this. Use whatever holds you want to use. Use whatever the fuck you want to do. But if you kill somebody who's not trying to attack you in any way, you're going to prison. So you might want to choose your holds carefully. All I feel you need is accountability. Stop trying to take away choke holds and take away these types of things. Just tell motherfuckers, if you choke someone out and they die, you're going to jail for that. I, I, feel, I feel you 100%. But what we're trying to do, and I think we're, we're, we're missing something here. Yes, you should punish cops when they do that kind of shit. But we want to prevent people from getting killed. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So in order to prevent people from getting killed, it starts with a, the cop making the decision before he decides to put somebody in a chokehold mm -hmm. or, or before he decides to pull up with his gun out, not even assessing the situation to see if this kid's gun yeah. is fake or if this kid got a gun in his hand or whatever it is. You know what I mean? Really, like, or I can't just make an excuse like, oh, I grabbed my taser. And I meant to grab my gun like, God damn. Like, we can't use that as an excuse. No, so nah, she shouldn't be able to use that excuse. Nah. No what thing old, old you're girl, grabbing, bro. Yo, old girl got her baby took in and set it off because the baby drunk some bleach. She, she ain't set it no off. Second. You remember the baby drunk some bleach and they took the baby away? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, don't yeah, get no second yeah. chance. For, and a mistake is a mistake. She got to go. Yeah, the police you know are the saying? only people who, where malpractice doesn't seem to apply. Like, if I go to the fucking doctor to get my, my tonsils removed and wake up with no dick, <laughs> I can sue the shit out of the hospital. You know what no I'm tea, saying? Tea fucked up. Like, and, and doctors will lose their licenses and yes. shit like that. Like, my, it's uh, police is the only place where malpractice doesn't apply. Like, you know, oh, I'm sorry, I grab my gun, I grab my gun instead of my taser. Like, like what huh? the fuck? You know what's That's fucked up about dangerous. that situation though is that like, you still gonna have to get your tonsils taken out. <laughs> 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 you know, like, like you got no dick, and you still gonna have to go in and get your tonsils yes, taken no out. No dick, yes. not not knowing what they might remove that time too. If you ain't got no dick, what the fuck you care about your tonsils for? Well, shit, you gonna be having to do a lot more sucking. I don't even know what tonsils do, bro. People, <laughs> now that you don't have a dick, no you gonna have to need that. <laughs> tonsils got the voice box in it. For real? Yeah. Do people even still get their tonsils removed? That used to be a thing back in the day. I think. I think we stopped growing tonsils, bro. Word, right? Yeah. I think we stopped growing tonsils, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I never hear it no more. But what, like you got your tonsils taken out? I know people have tons um, tonsils and fucking measles and chicken pox. All that shit gone. Yo, that's true. Do kids still get chicken pox? Yeah, they get that no, vaccine every year. That's why. Well, not yeah. every year, but when you go back to school, I don't, I don't know if it's every year or not, but kids get the, they got to get the vaccine at some point when they start school. I think when they first start school. Oh, we got a chicken pox vaccine? Yeah. yeah I didn't know that shit. Chicken pox, they measles. They didn't give me that shit when I was younger. I just had to get chicken pox. Yeah, nah, they, they, had it when we, they had it when you was younger. Uh, everybody in class Not me. got it. One person got it. Everybody got it. Now you don't get it no more. When was you younger? Exactly. That's how it works. <laughs> That's what year? how it worked, right? <laughs> when was you younger? What year was you younger? <laughs> me and him the same age. <laughs> no, I'm saying. <laughs> like, what like, what year? Like, what year? I'm trying, basically saying, what year are we talking? How young? Uh, 80, I think 80, I got 90, that shit in 80, elementary school, bro. 80, I remember getting yeah. them chicken pox. They had that shit school. back. They had chicken pox and measles shots back then, didn't yeah. they? We, we ain't nah, get bro. It. I can't afford it.
They have measles shots because who the fuck gets meagles? Meagles. Meagles. <laughs> who the fuck gets, uh, get the fuck gets measles anymore? Nah, but get this meagles shot to offset this goddamn <laughs> what, what, what's the Ebola, Ebola shot? The <laughs> only thing they had in school was the Ebola shot, the thing that turned your arm, arm red. Nah, Ebola's a new, bro. Well, yeah, they know Ebola, bro? If, if it turned red, then you got to leave the um, school. What? That is that? They had some school. They had something out there. Tuberculosis? Yeah. yeah, there you go. Tuberculosis. The chickenpox vaccine didn't become available until 1995. Listen, yeah, man, the bro, 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 don't care about them fact shit, bro. <laughs> Alex, don't be coming in here with your facts, bro. When was the, the shit was out in the 80s, bro. All right? Nah. nah. We I was it. putting calamine lotion all over my fucking body. Remember that pink-ass lotion you put? Man. We was in school. Everybody got chickenpox. All right, well, the 90s. Well, I mean, it's, it's, it's chicken. Well, but what about measles? Uh, wait, hold on. Charlamagne, you didn't even have dirt roads in fucking the 90s, bro. What are you talking about? You had a vaccine for chickenpox. What about measles? They had vaccines for something. Yeah, they had vaccines for measles. What year? What year was measles young? 88. Nah, that shit is probably 60s. Yeah, measles been around. 1963. Let's fucking Let's go, go, bro. What about freckle I'm juice? <laughs> what do you say? Freckle juice? What about freckle juice? What's freckle juice? Oh, y'all never read the book Freckle Juice? No. Where the guy used to drink the freckle juice because he wanted to get freckles? I just remember yo, reading that book like? thinking that, yo, all you got to do is get the measles, bro. It's the same thing. Um, what, When did you start having friends? Like, how old were you? Right? <laughs> how, young, how young were you? How young were you? When you had, how young were you? <laughs> how young were you when you had friends? What, what else is out there? Like, sores and stuff? This motherfucker like read every childhood book, bro. Hey, I think From Judy Bloom to Raw Doll, all of them. But no, um, to, what, what, so you, so you think you think this is gonna lead to some type of real change, Schultz? I think uh, it could lead to real change in, in the immediate future, and then that could go back. Like think about it, like uh, just like kids, right? Like you punish the kid, the kid's like, okay, I'm not gonna do anything, oh. and then you don't punish it for a while, it starts to see how far they could go. So as long as we are consistently holding people accountable for breaking the law. There, this change will exist in our lives. If we let t people get away with it, then it won't. So the pressure has to be on every time a, um, you know, somebody is breaking the law. It's, it's that simple. Yeah, but I do think normal. in the immediate the future, okay. you are going to see change. Like that girl who thought she grabbed her taser and then shot anyway, put her behind bars, yeah, yo, bro. You got to, yo. She did that shit on purpose, too, trying to say taser, taser. She knew the fuck she She's been on the force 26 years. That's a rookie yeah. mistake, bro. She wanted that. Yeah. That's she what it felt like, right? She wanted that hit, bro. Yeah. My dude Charles McBee said that. He said it feel like every spring is like hunting season for on, on, on black people. Like it's a, and then I saw somebody else say it's almost like it's a, a sick ritual, like some Illuminati shit people are like doing. Like, like it's weird. But you know, I mean, listen, man, I don't know. I still would feel more comfortable with some type of police reform in place. You know what I mean? Because it's just really. It's really about a mindset, right? Like, even when I look at the situation that happened in Ohio yesterday, real fucked up situation, right? Um, but it's tricky because, yo, if you get a police, if you get a phone call, you know, that a, that, that, that a woman is out here attacking people with a knife and you pull up and you the cops and you just, you just see this woman wielding a knife, you know, on a couple people. And I saw one person hit the ground and, uh, uh, you know, she had another woman up against the car and it looked like she was about to stab him. I, I thought the cop should have used this taser. He shot four times, killed the young lady. You know what I'm saying? So my whole thing is like, right. damn, do they got to approach every situation when it comes to black people or every situation in certain communities with, with fatal force is the first option? Yeah. Like there's mm. no other, there's no other option ever. Like, yo, she's got a knife. Like a taser wouldn't work on a 16 year old. You know what I mean? Mm, it's a hard one, bro. Like it's just like in four shots, and then you're telling me that definitely not. You know, and, and and I'm like to the, to some people, he's probably a hero, right? Because yeah, he did save a woman from getting stabbed. But then I'm looking, he shot four times. If he was a bad shot, he would have shot the woman he also was trying to yeah, allegedly save. You know what I mean? And then four I shots mean, is four shots not excessive for somebody with a knife? Not if he if if somebody was going to stab my daughter. I don't care if it's a man or a woman, but I don't care how old they are. But if they're going to stab my daughter with a knife and a cop shot that person before they could stab you my daughter, care. that person is always going to be. I get it. 
Yeah, yeah, I get it. So I'm like, not, I, I get it. I, I think it's wrong to conflate yeah. these two cases because one is so egregious the misuse of power, and the other one is doing their job. Oh no, I don't right? think. Now, I, if you want to change, yeah, I'm not conflating the cases. I'm just simply saying that, okay. regardless of what that situation was in Ohio, it seems like fatal force is always the first option when it comes sure. to black people. For sure, that's all hey, I'm bro, saying. It, it's. It it does seem that way, and you have every right to believe that way because we keep seeing these stories pop up over and over and over again. Uh -huh. um, that being said, if there was somebody who was trying to stab your daughter and you had a gun, pop, pop, you're not reaching for your taser. No, somebody try to do anything to my daughter with your fucking dead. Yeah, I'm, yeah, listen, I don't have, I'm yeah, with you. And I don't even own a tape. But, but he's probably saying My that daddy if, does. If, if that was a white person, it probably would have went down a little different. I mean, we see exactly. it. Like, I, I saw a video the other day. The sure. white dude pulled out a and, gun and on the cop shouldn't. and told the cop, get the fuck away from his truck. And the yeah, cops yeah, was white complying. People, white people. And pulled off. White people are, are, are the shit, bro. Like, <laughs> different. Yo, different. We the shit. Different. They are. Like, listen, it's the different. The white girls are getting shit. It's different. it's different. It's different. It's different. I've seen white. We, I've seen white people chase cops with knives. Yeah, and the cops are yeah. running with guns. Like, like what the? You should fuck? root for them. You should root for those white people, bro, because nah. they're you know what they, 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 they showing us what's really happening. They trying to bring justice. They see the cops doing some fucked up shit, <laughs> and they be taking <laughs> fucking law in their own hands, bro. Uh, nah. and, and and I guess that's my thing too, though, right? It's like we've seen cops. It's not like cops have Batman. fucked up training, right? Like we we always talk about how cops have fucked up training. No, cops know how to use restraint when they want to. Yes, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Cops know how to de-escalate de situations when they want to. What's training for then? Mm. But it's like they pull up in certain communities, they see certain shades, and they like pop pop. They see let's red. let's let's yeah. let's ask questions later. They see black. That's all, you know. But where are they coming from? Yeah. Though? And I'm gonna tell you something else. I'm gonna tell you. I, I, not only do I want police reform, Carrie L. Horn. Her law, Cariel's law that she got passed in Buffalo, New York, because she was a sister who intervened uh, while a cop was choking out a black guy. That needs oh, to be national, too. She was yeah. a cop, right? Yeah, she was a cop. She just got, she she got her pension she back got last week. Off. The, the judge ruled in her favor. She need, she, she, yeah. that, that law needs to be national, especially in light of the George Floyd situation, because now that we see if Derek Chauvin is convicted of murder, that makes every cop on that scene a goddamn accomplice. Yeah. Conspiracy, bro. Every oh, cop on that scene is an accomplice. you think each one of them should also go down? Huh? You think each one of them should also go down? Well, they're, they're all, they're all, they all got charges. They all go, they go to court in August. Uh -huh. Interesting. Oh, yeah, they go to court. No, I mean, they sat, you sat around and watched that for nine minutes. Come on, man. Like, at no point did you, did you as a cop be like, bro. Nobody's human. Derek, what the fuck? You wildin', bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, yeah. like, to me, if you care about the shield... If you can't fuck about the shield, yeah, as a cop, you're gonna stop Derek Chauvin because you don't want that stain on your on your department. You don't want people looking at y'all like that because it makes your job harder in the future. Yeah, that's all. So I like Cariel's law. I think that you know those cops need to be held accountable too. They're accomplices. If this guy's accused of murder, he's an accomplice. If I'm with Wax, I'm with Andrew, and they commit murder, and I didn't try to stop them, I didn't call the police or anything after they coming to get my ass as an accomplice. Well, nobody mm. know nothing anyway. What you mean? I don't know nothing. Nah, it depends. I might have to tell him. <laughs> it's all depends, bro. I mean, listen, I, it's just certain things I just can't sit around and watch. Yeah, I, just, I ain't trying to watch it either. I'm, That's why I'm, we out. Yeah, I'm a man of principle. It depends on why. I'm we out. It you went know down. that we out. I don't need nothing. <laughs> you know you close saying? your eyes because you only see shit. Nope, I don't know nothing. I can't. Yeah. That ain't going to work in a court of law, bro. Man, close your eyes. Imagine me yeah. on the stand. I don't know nothing. But we don't know nothing either. Here's 100 years. <laughs> Him getting charged though, we don't, we still don't know how long he's gonna be, right? Derek Chauvin getting time, bro. Like how much you think? Hey, the one charge had think? a max sentence of forty years. Another had a max sentence of twenty five. Another oh, had a max okay. sentence of ten. Man, yeah, he's even, going. Even if he cut them all in half, he's gonna get. He's it. going yeah. to get some goddamn time. Let, we we we're not talking about the real shit. The real Wait, shit. Is he gonna go to real jail? Yeah, they man. Get, fuck they all they that. What's the over under on him killing himself? Damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he might kill himself. That's what I'm yeah. thinking. He might kill himself. He I, lost I his, see that. He lost he his wife before all this shit happened. His wife left him. He ain't got shit to live for. Derek might be out. Yeah. He's all, they put him on suicide watch this morning. Yeah, I said, yeah. I actually posted that yesterday. I was like, I hope they put this dude on suicide watch. They put him don't on suicide him watch himself. this morning. Let huh? him get smashed in jail. Yes. Don't, don't let him kill himself. Might Should you be him. allowed to kill yourself? No. That's the that's why he's trying to stop you. They're not going to let you kill yourself. Bro. That's a cop out, bro. You out? You can't why, do that. Why do they take shoestrings and all that stuff in jail? They know what people try to do. Yeah, but it's like, 
my body, my choice. <laughs> but don't get locked up and go jump body. off a bridge then. You know what I'm saying? Make it easier. I'm just saying, my body, my choice. Why can't you make that choice with your body? I need, you're in prison already. That's what girls always say. Yeah, I need you to suffer a little yeah. bit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, that's, I, like that's, that's a cop out. Yeah, I need you to suffer a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, like the only way that shit would have made sense to me is if somebody would have popped him in that moment when he was on top of Derek Chauvin. I mean, like on, on top of George Floyd, uh -huh. if somebody would have did it to mm. him like that, I, that would have that would have that would have seemed like you know at least some some a different form of justice. But if you get found guilty like he did and then he kills himself, it's like nah, I want to see you get them forty years, bro. Yeah, bro. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But isn't the uh, isn't the death penalty a harsher? Sentence? No. Yeah, but they don't exactly. just kill you with the death penalty either, though. You, don't know. you no. be on death row for years. Yeah, you really do. They don't just, ah, so they you're don't just kill you. Still do the time and die after the fact. Yeah, they don't just kill you when you're on death row. Death row, you sit for a while. I'm just saying, do we really want to like pay for this guy to eat three meals a day, read a bunch of books, like learn some? Yeah, he can still jerk off. No, I want him to get beat up in jail. Yeah, you got you got to like break his fingers. Yeah, but they're so not going to put off. him in a position to get beat up. They're going to protect him. The you know honestly, there might be a connection between the CEOs and the cops, and they yeah, might look after yeah, him. Yeah, like sure. somebody there's a lot somebody. of this. This is the challenge we need to have on Brilliant Idiots. You know, Andrew has you know challenged Jay Williams. He challenged mm -hmm. Daryl Revis one time. He thinks he can do heart surgery. Andrew yep. got to go to jail for 24 hours. <laughs> you never been we to jail, Andrew? We need Andrew in a maximum security <laughs> prison for 24 hours. Because Andrew always talks about prison. Light work. Like it's a resort. <laughs> Light work. <laughs> nah, bro. Light work. Nah, bro. I'm telling you this, Charlemagne. <laughs> bro, you got to really sit down and think, hours, bro. Hey, everybody better watch their cheeks because I'm coming to collect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you talking that now? They, you know they listen to this Yo. shit in there. <laughs> that is to bring you in his inside of there. So, so that how you gotta walk in the prison. You gotta walk in the prison. The aggressor, like I'm coming to fuck. <laughs> I'm I'm here for one purpose. I got 24 <laughs> hours to live. What does it do? Who do I screw? <laughs> <laughs> Your boy coming in there, dogs. You thought I was gonna grab my ankles. You thought. You thought. <laughs> this show's walking out. I'm white Rob. Okay, and I'm That's coming to right. Rob Chief. All right? Yeah. I got 24 hours to screw. I got 24 hours to give this dick. Ah, you All don't right? know how many people that's really down. That's the <laughs> problem. I'm coming through with the opposite handle, okay? Yeah. Rob Marciano. Right. We're not playing games over here. Yeah, then you see, a, then you realize them power bottoms that been in there doing fucking 900 squats a day. <laughs> and they're like, yes, put that dick right in here so I can break it yep. off in these cheeks. Try to. That's why I say I say try to. I see you. <laughs> I Andrew, see have you. you ever got robbed before? Say what? Have you ever got robbed before? Yes, I have gotten robbed. And you wasn't... How'd you react? I gave him the shit. What this got to do with anything, Taylor? No, because I just want to know, like, you act like you're not scared and everything else. That's what I want to know. But the, the robbery and jail, two different things. Totally. I'd rather get... Rob me right now. Take everything. Here, here, you can have it. But jail as long as, long as you just want to rob me, though. If you just going to rob me, you can rob me. I don't need more than But Jay. what if they hey, want to rob look, your booty? A lot of guys what I'm, saying, you look what cute. I'm what? saying is, what are you talking when about? I go what to jail, Taylor, like, it's different. The alpha dog is now in prison. Like, the apex predator <laughs> is in prison. You know what I mean? Like, you don't even do everybody enough push got to be bro. on they, high you alert. You doing laundry, bro. <laughs> Say what? You do a lot. Yeah, you're definitely doing washing drawers. Washing drawers. Washing drawers. Right I right promise right. you they're going to have you washing drawers in jail. Right, right bro. We're going to need to because them sheets going to be mighty messy after what I do to them things. I'm going to be shooting ropes out there, there bro. Serious. Andrew don't get it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's all fun and games. Until, listen, it is. here's the funny part. Andrew going to fuck around and end up in jail for something silly, right? Like something not. dumb. Yeah. And he going to yep. walk in. And it's going to be a bunch of people in the holding cell like, yeah, yeah. Make me laugh. I yeah. listen to Brilliant. Make me laugh, baby. Yeah. Tell me a joke. Uh, Tell me a joke. Okay. Hey. Oh, hey, you I'm going to go you, in there. I'm going to size them all up. I'm going to I'm gonna smell them because I can smell fear. <laughs> I'm going to smell them because I can smell fear. And I'm going to let them know the he, big he dog Bow Wow little guy is in the building, bro. Doing push-ups. 500, 1,000 clips a day. 1,000 push-ups a day, 240. That's the small the man small on the totem pole. There, yeah, and I'm going to tell him, you better keep that shit up because if I catch you slipping it's a rap for you Shut it's up. a rap yeah. I just told them they listen to this in here <laughs> don't hey, tell them nothing it's the big dog bow wow okay it's different when I come in the room it's different yeah, hey. Hey. Wax, get some of hey. your, and I'm gonna tell you what's gonna be even more hey. fucked up if you find yourself in a cell with somebody who says 
Nah, bro, hey, I don't listen hey, to real niggas. How many I listen, push-ups? I listen to how fucking many flake. You think oh, I nah, you do? get look at that. Now nah, you definitely yeah. watch, <laughs> you washing drawers. Hey, not only are you washing drawers, you washing you washing the inside of cheeks. Yeah, man. It's gonna be a guy in there that make you wash his balls yeah. off before he make you suck them. Yeah. Nah, bro. Yeah, that ain't gonna do it. You washing drawers in the sink, bro? In the sink, naked <sighs> like that, son. <laughs> I'll be like that. Yeah, you in trouble, man. I'm watching. Yeah, you in trouble. Hey, please hey. don't go to jail. Let's please. Let's hey. all pray for Andrew. Let me tell you please. something. Yeah. I go into jail. First thing I do, I'm I'm walking into the town hall or whatever the shit is where everybody gets to hang out. What's the that town called? hall? What the fuck? <laughs> <That's all laughs> <calling> <laughs> shit. What? You, you, you want to have a meeting, bro? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try to talk his way out of this one. This nah, it don't work like that. I walk into the rec room. I'll say, what you guys watching? Then you'll yeah. be like, oh, watching Judge Judy. I'll be like, yeah, cut that shit off. And I'm just going to turn that shit off right there and just, because I, I got to set a precedent. I got to set a precedent. What's the next, what you going to say? What you going to say to them? Say what? What you going to say to them after that? Yeah, what's the next move? After they tell you, fuck you. I'm going to say, oh, fuck me? Huh. That's what I'm here for. Yup. <laughs> yup. I say, that's what I'm here for, bro. That's what I'm here for. And then... I just slowly just start overpowering motherfuckers, bro. Bro, jail yeah. is Simple no as as joke, bro. And I ain't never been to prison. I only was in the county. The county is yeah. the county it's, is yeah, no joke. I was enough. in the county for 45 days in Monk's Corner, South Carolina. Scary enough. Bro, and when you 17 years old and you in the county, the county ain't no joke. Yo, you know the crazy man. part about Charlie it? Man. I had to really think. And that's the her, her most craziest thing about the whole thing. What? Like, jail what? is not really hard. We're not doing that. You got to think. Man, why do y'all keep saying I'll, jail's not hard? <laughs> you just gotta Son. think. That's the problem. People gotta really think about nothing. Charlie man, man. Sit there and think. Y'all bugging. Yo. Charlie man, listen. The world is actually oh, harder forget, than okay, jail. My, okay, my man. I forget we got Alex. Uh, Alex Media. Jailbird done Media hard in time. the building. He's done hard time, but I just want to let you know. Life is he different. Said Alex did hard time. <laughs> <laughs> he done hard time. Alex did okay. chug time, bro. He, he did hard time. It wasn't hard. It wasn't fully arrested. Country, this guy's a, man, that was kind of crazy. It was a little chub. They, this guy's an international criminal, and they let him open up a business on fucking Canal Street in New York City. All right? So don't tell me you can't rebound from a little stint in prison. All I got to say is, Charlemagne, you and I are built different. You're right. right. You Listen, might go so into jail and life is and not you harder might, than jail. You might go into jail and it might be tough for you, but your boy Schultz, he goes into jail. Mm. Let me tell you something. Mm. Jail sucks so much that I did 45 days and the other times I went for like weekend stints. Oh no. As soon as I walk in there, I would just throw up. Like, God yeah. damn, I'm back in this motherfucker yeah. again. Every, every time I see oh, that fucking sink fuck. again in that oh. blurry mirror, I'm about to throw up. I said, not a fucking again. Let me tell you something. In, in all about. seriousness, I can't go to prison. I'm no way. No, no I cannot way. go to prison. I do not want to go to prison. No. I will do anything I can to avoid prison. <laughs> I am not doing that I tell shit. Jokes it is to not everybody. Happening. It is not happening. I don't know what I'll do. I don't know how I'll act. I don't know what, but I will do everything in my power to avoid going to prison. But why but why do you think that, that is shit. harder than life, though? I think life is harder than prison. Only thing you're doing is Fuck sitting there. God, life is a whole whole lot harder. Man, what are you talking about? Just have to deal with this life. Is I would much lot... rather deal with life free than inside. Yeah, but that's what you'd rather do, but jail is actually easier. No, it's not. Wax, you bugging, well, son. No, I, we Wax, don't, we don't want to do that because we don't want to sit down and think. That's our problem. Nobody want to fucking think. You don't I don't think, think you're thinking you're right now. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody call the police and t give Wax some time to think about this, this scenario he's painting for us right now. That's what I'm, that life is harder I, I, than I'm, jail. I'm just saying, being out here you're, in life, you got to do more of everything. When you're in jail, you're just sitting there. You got to just so remind, you remind yourself jail, to eat. If, jail, if life was harder than jail, then jail wouldn't be a punishment. But yeah, just because you can't do nothing, but life is actually harder. But Everything we'll be you do in life, solitary confinement, right? No windows, nothing else. Like you gotta that. do nothing. That's what I'm saying. You just gotta sit well, there and breathe. Khalif Browder killed I could do that. Because he was I could do solitary. Word is born. Like, come on. I understand like, what go you're crazy. saying. It's probably hard because people got to think. Oh, if you got, if you just sitting there, what's really hard about sitting, sitting around? I know around what you're saying, breathing? Wax. The I know what you're saying. There's no distraction. So you're left yeah. there with your thoughts. And if your thoughts are things that plague you, then it's going to be really difficult. Yes. But Yo, y'all need to try meditation, people, bro. Y'all so y'all need to try meditation. Y'all don't have to go to jail to think. Son, I just did an ice bath yesterday, bro. Ooh. You got to think when you do an ice bath, yep. Yeah. I hate that. That ice bath shit is, is real. I think. love it. I've never done it. That shit. You never did an ice Hard. bath? Nah, oh, but I've done man. float therapy. <laughs> 
Yeah. I believe you. No, it but, is. but you know why I, I know it. the ice yeah. bath is dope? Because you're foc- you're forced to focus on one thing, which is your cold, try right? To get, try to get warm. So you're just stuck in that 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 <laughs> mindset of focusing on one thing. That's what full therapy does for me. That's what brain training does for me. That's what therapy does for me. I just sit there and I'm still. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm I don't gotta go to jail today. to do that, bro. Yeah, I guess no, I think right. that I think you're right. I, I don't want to go to jail. I'm just thinking, right. I just think that life is harder than jail because only you gotta do is just breathe. You Remind gonna, yourself man, to breathe the next couple of hours. That's what they're gonna tell you when you got your fucking pants around your ankles in jail. Just breathe. <laughs> yep. shit. Exactly. I, just breathe. Breathe. I ain't worried about that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm good. People you don't, don't think do that, that you me. could run into a like an alpha male like me exactly. if you were in prison and not nah, he, he'll could be see in another a alpha male situation. He, he, everybody, the only people they're gonna go after is somebody easy. Like if you go in there, little chest, boom, easy. Do my why you nah, fucking some lions like to fuck lions. Nah, you don't want yeah. to gorillas like to fuck gorillas. That's they a fact. Don't, man, it's yeah. easy to get the sheep. Why you think wolves go after sheep? Wolves don't go after each other, wolves go after the sheep. Andrew's gonna get hit up, not me. <laughs> I'm not a sheep. Why do you think I'm a sheep? You're I'm an alpha male. I'm the wolf. You want to get me to be the sheep and you be the wolf? You're bugging. I'm the bear. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I'm you the bear and, and Wax is the rabbit. You know what bears do the rabbits? You know what bears do the rabbits in the woods? They wipe their ass. That's right. Eddie Murphy, raw. Or maybe it was delirious. I don't remember. Well, you can't catch me then. I'm out. Hey, man. But in jail, there's nowhere you can run, Wax. Wax it's, don't it's get all you, Wax might be, you might be like top tier trade in jail. Yeah. Like they might, yeah. there might be somebody in a prison waiting on somebody like you to walk in. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nobody, nobody, regardless, you know, life is, is just like in jail, it's just like in the streets. You're not going to go after somebody like me in the streets. And in jail, you ain't going to go after nobody like me. You're going to go after gonna all the easy shit. guys like shit. you in jail, though. Wax, you don't even don't like to fight. You don't like to fight small people. Regardless. Wax always tell me his whole life, I like fighting people that's my size that or bigger. That makes sense for me. Yeah, because all that little shit is going to be a waste of time. Exactly. Like, oh, you like to. They're not paying attention because they know they're going to still have to They gonna have, to have the real fight on their hands. Nobody want to get fucked up. Even the nigga bigger than me, he know he's going to have a fucking problem. Why not go after this little ass fish real quick? They not trying to get fucked up in prison. They not trying to fuck you up. They just trying to fuck. They not trying to fuck you up. They not trying to beat you. They trying to beat cheese. They want to slap the ass. That's all. If somebody (laughs) doesn't want to have sex with you, all they want to do is make out. Or they just want to rub your butt. (laughs) Yo, all they want to do is kiss a little bit, bro. Like some pecs and like just kind of squeeze your butt cheeks. Maybe open up your cheeks, let some air in. Okay, what if that's a great scenario, Schultz? I love it. What if, what if you're in jail, Wax, and it's a guy your size, and every time you see him, he makes eye contact with you, but he's jacking off. Ew. He ain't trying nothing, but every time he, he sees try. you. He's just making eye contact with you and jacking off. How do you handle that? I'm sure he's doing it to everybody, so I know something wrong with him. He got a mental problem. What I'm going to want to do to him, I'm going to think about it so I'm not going to stoop to his level. I'm going to get the fuck out the way. I I, I got eyelids. They they know how to close. (laughs) So you're just going to let someone beat off to you, bro? I can close my eyes. I have to look. Like, that's all on me. If I'm looking, then I'm going to get mad. If I close my eyes, I don't see nothing. But what if you think think you're closing your your eyes eyes. because you're enjoying it? Like, you're like, mmm. Mm. Yeah, mm. Like you I can imagine what you would do with that chocolate mm. chip cookie. Listen, mm. long as he don't touch me, everything is always. So good. you really want to care at all? Got nothing to do with that. He'd be in jail. And I'm when, gonna really fight this guy. But then naked. when he came, he's like, "Oh, wax." That's all on him. <laughs> Listen, God That's bless all. you, brother. What if he says, "Let's role play." Listen. I'll be the bully, you be the beast. <laughs> listen, if this, this, listen, you mean I sell or he just like we out? I could always get away. No, but if this is my celly. Yes, yeah, your cell. When I was locked up in the county, I was in one of them A pods. And the A pod had like 16 people in mm-hmm. there. It was just one bald head dude with a goatee. Every night he would go under his blanket and yak, 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 yak. And we'd be in there playing cards. He wouldn't give a fuck if the lights was out. No, nothing. That's crazy. That's weird. You know, but I, to you wax his point. You know people got mental problems. To wax man. his Leave point, I'm minding alone, my business. Man. Leave these motherfuckers alone. He I got a problem. Know. If you, you're able to show another man your meat, you got a fucking problem. Why? Wait a minute. What the fuck you want to show another man your meat for? All the times you was naked in the locker room with football players? So you wait till I look at somebody's meat? You was yes. a man naked. They was looking at yours. No, I have a <laughs> you towel. You technically were showing people your meat. I have a fucking towel on. Stop, and I always wax, get the corner stop, one. Stop, I, stop, stop. You ran trains with your homeboys. You never ran trains with homeboys? They you seen see, your meat? You see I looked at anybody's They shit? saw yours. So Why to your the point, fuck are you looking? if you show somebody your meat, something's wrong with you. 
You say if you show another man you meet something wrong. It's the same thing when you watch porn. Come on, you know, stop. Like, so you think I'm over there like this watching my man get ready or watching him smash the girl? No, like, but no. you see, you showing him your meat? You don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, if I look at a man, he's naked right now. You just don't see his meat. You don't see it. You so don't point. You don't see me at all. Let me flash back 18 years. Maybe Charla, longer. Go. Flash go. back to about <laughs> 03, 04. I'm at I'm at Wax Crib. I'm knocking, I'm knocking on his bed. I'm knocking on his bedroom door. I didn't know what he was doing. I'm just knocking on the bedroom door. Wax answers the door with just a t-shirt on. Winnie the pool style. <laughs> Shut dick up. hard with a condom on. Shut I just up. turned around. Wait, you did what? I just turned around and left. Oh, shut up. Oh, God Oh, damn. you left. <laughs> I said, what? I don't remember this. What the fuck? That was the wildest shit what you ever idea? said in your Tell entire her life. Tell her please. <laughs> God shows up to your fucking hey, room. This is a dick hard with a condom on. You just turn around? <laughs> Come on, Charlotte. No. He, he never on. said a girl was there or nothing. No, the girl, girl, clearly you was in the room with a girl. Oh, he answered. He answered the door because he clearly was in the middle of the sex. But my point was, he just opened the door wide. He didn't know who was on the other side of the door. I and it's not, like he, he, it's not like he did like this when day. he saw me. It's not like he grabbed, oh, shit. He just stood there. Like, what's up? There ain't no fucking stand. I probably like, yo, what the fuck is you doing? All right, peace. He was like, what's up? <laughs> we, we had a conversation. It wasn't a combo. I just was like, oh, man, I'm getting the fuck out of here. But why'd you answer like that? I don't, I, I don't He do shit know. like that all the time. <laughs> but nobody Wax was an exhibitionist. He look at my meat. You so just what? said, no, your exact words was, if you pull your meat out in front of another man, something wrong with you. I didn't pull my meat out. If I'm, you the know meat I'm was doing. out. You didn't cover it up. Man, listen, I don't know what it is. It's different <laughs> when you smash it. It's like in the mold. Everybody eyes on the girl. Who the fuck cares about another man I knocked around? on the door. You answered the door with your dick out. Yo, bro, you know all them fucking nasty the old men that work around the gym naked? You ever seen that meat? You all know the time. You looked. No, you're How not. How can you not when you walk in the locker seen, room? i never seen I that meat before. You look? Always. <laughs> By the way, it's very hard not to look at the old men in the gym. No, no I'm going to tell you why. Because the old I white men's dick be so I little. Look. You, I, I look. I, I've looked and been I like, look. God, I've looked and I said, God, thank you. <laughs> thank you for, I, for not cursing me with that little last guy. Like, that shit is a hey, confidence boost, bro. Don't does judge them. You don't know if they're growers. What you say, shows? <laughs> you don't know if they're growers. And also, I always look at dicks, man. You got to know where you stand. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you got to understand, wherever you stand at, that's where you stand, bro. If I pull up to a urinal bro. and it's got not point, properly man. blocked, I'm going to take nah. a look at your dick, bro. No, Show, you got to understand, got a point, bro. wherever you stand is where you stand. That's what God gave you. Just, to, just have fun with it as much as you can. You say that because you got a decent dick. If you had one of them old men dicks... In the gym, you'd be like, shit. <laughs> them guys don't feel that way. Them guys got, probably got all the money in the world and yeah. can't do nothing about that dick size. That's what's <laughs> fucked up, right? Women can go get breasts. Women yeah. can go get no, ass. They're, they're women can get hips. Ain't no dick enlargements. Yes, it is. Nah, but we can go get rich. Nah, nah, you could go, you could get, um, it's actually Bragg's vi vinegar. You pour Bragg's vinegar on your um, meat for 10 days straight and your meat get bigger. This what? Come on, bro. I'm dead serious. I'm not if y'all want to know liquid put from some guy named Brad on, on my dick, but just, just hold it, just hold it like this. Put Brad's vinegar on your meat for ten days straight, and it's like it's like soaks into your meat and it make it bigger. I've never heard a, a man entice people in prison the way Wax has on this podcast <laughs> the past twenty <laughs> minutes. Now it's me. I mean, now first it's of all, if you jack off in front right. of him, he's just gonna close his eyes and hum for you. <laughs> He's going to season his dick with a little vinegar. This you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this guy. I've never, I've never seen this. Season. I've never heard a man entice another man the way you are, man, right now on this podcast, bro. Help people out, man. They ready for you in jails all across America. Oh you, you missed the point, too. He knocked on the door. You're not getting the point of... He didn't know who was behind yeah, it. Yeah, like... You just answered what you well, think. Who was your mom? What are you talking about? You think my mom, my mom's out there? I don't have sex when my mom's around. Oh, my God. You're not Crazy? getting the point. You're not getting the point. My mom's in Jersey. I know it wasn't my mom. Is it probably somebody or probably what another girl? I don't know. You? I don't know. I Listen, I was retarded back in the day. Still and now. I used to do stupid ass shit when I'm smack. Everybody know, like, I used to walk Can into Can I ask you a question? And grab, don't, I don't know what, God bless her. <laughs> after, <laughs> after seeing Charlemagne, did you maintain your erection? Did it go down? Did it go up? I don't Where, see what the happened? guy. That shit's staying hard, understand. bro. 
That shit stayed <laughs> hard, huh? I saw it, show. I saw it. How shit. you see it? You're not supposed to see it. What the fuck? That you shit opened the door. Huh? I'm only 5'6". Six. Six, okay? It was right there. Yeah, it, it was, was literally like right there. Eye nose. line. Like, what the fuck? I can't believe y'all, y'all look at guys in the locker room. I can't believe y'all. What do you mean? Eddie, I look, you look at, at penises you look at shit, every y'all? chance I get. Have you ever seen dude's dick before? No, I'm just saying. You, you look, I know you've seen it in the gym. <laughs> I've definitely no. seen a dude's dick before. Thank you, bro. <laughs> You're a liar. I've seen, he asked me. This is at your at house or at a hotel? Locker room? No, he I'm said, saying, he, he just said he's never seen it. another man's dick no, before. No, I said yes. No. Who's oh, that? Okay. No, but I'm saying in the locker room. Edin? Did, just look at it? Did I look at it purposely? Like, Edin, you've look? seen my dick. When have oh, I seen your dick? Tell us how you got the job, Edin. When have I seen? Tell us how you fucking got the job, Edin. When did I see your dick? When was this? <laughs> nah, nah, I'm just teasing, but oh. <laughs> you can't play like that, Joe. <laughs> you like, have I? Where's we at? Yo, I listen, there's nothing wrong with being competitive. You know what I mean? You pull up to an airport, you want to check out what cut, you know, you look at someone's luggage, and then you look at their <laughs> luggage, bro. That's just what it if is. If I could make it bigger, yes, I try to compare it. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, this is what God gave me. If I know it's not going to change, I'm going to leave that shit alone, Why man. So I, ain't, I ain't like, I'm looking at the guy's feet. Like, oh, look at his feet. I can't Everyone change my shit. We ain't talking about feet. We're talking is. about dicks. But you can't do yeah, nothing I don't look about at guys' feet, like bro. That's pretty gay. Else. Because girls <laughs> can change it. If you look at guys' no, feet, that's gay. No, it's just people look, they, they try to compare. Like it Girls change. If they, if they like this girl titties, she can change her titties. Taylor. Yeah. What do you think is more gay? Looking at another man's dick or looking at another man's feet? Uh, looking at another man's dick. Nah, the feet is kind of What? Wild. It depends how you feel about those feet, though. Feet is like real, like sensuous. Like, yeah, you, if you yeah. tell them that I like your feet, like, what the fuck are you talking about? It's kind of wild. <laughs> okay, if you put it like that, <laughs> I don't know. But if somebody be like, yo, bro, put your meat away, like, put, don't take the sweatpants, or put some jeans on or some shit like that, I'd be like, I get it. No! No! I if say, a, like, no! Like, if a man no. walks up to you and says, yo, put your dick away. No, I'm just saying, like, put some, <laughs> take, take the sweatpants what off. What the fuck? If your sweatpants I don't show, even I'm know what's happening. My girl, I don't know, man. So hold on. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. It's going to be a hot boy summer. Okay. Basically what Wax told every guy out there, if you see Wax this summer in some gray sweatpants and you notice much. his print, Let's make sure to tell him to put his print away. That's what Wax just mm-hmm. said. I'm just yeah. I'm that is the brilliant idiot's challenge for the summer. You see wax this summer, make sure <laughs> to say, yo, wax, put your print away. It'll be an inside joke between us and brilliant idiots listeners. You don't gotta say Love dick, it. just say print. We'll know what that means. Listen, my girl said I can't wear gray sweatpants no more, so I don't have a pair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna pee. Let's pay some bills. Yeah. It's a good way to. Good way to segue into uh, our, our next sponsor. Yes, yeah, so let's stop and pay some bills. Cushy dreams. The world today is nuts. And just when it seems like things are getting better, we're hit with even more reasons to be anxious and uncomfortable. And that's why our friends at Cushy Dreams can help. Cushy Dreams specializes in high quality smokable CBD. And CBD has been shown to help with anxiety, depression, inflammation, even pain relief and more. And smoking CBD gets it into your system right away. So you don't have to wait long for the effects. Okay. Cushy Dreams, extraordinary CBD rich hemp flower comes in eighth ounce cans and pre-roll joints. It is cannabis that ships directly to you and directly to all 50 states. They offer indigo and sativa strains that deliver effects like relax, create, hustle, peace, energy, energy, and dream, okay? Now, how does it look and taste? Like regular weed, okay? Favorite strains? Me, that would be indigo, okay? Because indigo helps me to deal with my anxiety in a real, real, real way. And, you know, sometimes I don't want to feel the effects of THC, so I just do the CBD, Actually, sometimes I'm going to tell you something, too. That THC CBD hybrid, like if you do a little bit of THC and then do a little CBD to offset it, perfect. Okay, so whether you want to smoke beautiful bud or pre-rolls, Cushy Dreams has you covered. Their popular pre-roll joints are rolled in organic hemp paper and feature an even slow burn. And pre-rolls are now available in five packs, okay? With Cushy Dreams, experience the therapeutic benefits of CBD with full flower, full spectrum, and full flavor. We know you're sick of carts, vapes, gummies and want to smoke your CBD and now you can enjoy all of the benefits of cannabis without getting high. Go to CushyDreams.com That's K-U-S-H-Y Dreams.com. At checkout use promo code IDIOTS for 20% off your next order. Smoke your CBD with promo code IDIOTS and get 20% off today. Alright guys, we're going to take a break for a second because uh, I need y'all to stay hydrated. 
Too many of you thirsty motherfuckers out there. And the way that we stay hydrated over here is with liquid death. I got the sparkling water over here because I keep it a little bougie. But you get the still. I'm telling you, it is the most delicious water on the planet. Okay? It comes straight from the Alps. I don't know which Alps, but one of the Alps. Let me think. Austrian Alps? Alps? Yeah, they're Alps. It's come from the Alps. It's absolutely amazing. And it's in a can, okay? So you're not leaving these fucking plastic bottles all over the place. You crack it open, you drink it, and you kill your fucking thirst, which is the point of goddamn water. Sustain life, kill that thirst, because thirst leads to death. So we got the liquid death. So we kill that fucking thirst. I don't know if any of that makes sense, but I'm telling you, this is the, is the water we drink, and this is the water we support. Hmm. Absolutely delicious okay guys you can get this water walmart you can get this water whole food 7-eleven all right but you can also have it delivered right to your house which i believe is the best way to get water why do you want to lug around these cases you don't want to do that have it delivered right to your door okay you don't want to lug cases from the car into the car out of the grocery store maybe you're carrying it into a fucking uber who knows i don't know your life my point is is a waste of your fucking time you get this delicious water you get these cans matter of fact if you're not a drinker and you want to just hang out at the barbecue and don't have people ask you every five seconds why you're not drinking you get one of these cans because it looks like a fucking beer all i'm saying is it's the best possible water for you to get liquid death and this is what you're going to do when you order it right now direct you're going to get Two free koozies with your first order of any case of water at liquiddeath.com slash idiots. Just hit up their merch store, add the koozie two pack you want, and you'll get it for free with your first case only at liquiddeath.com slash idiots. Liquid Death, this is the water we drink. We stand by it. You should too. Now let's get back to the show. All right, church announcements. Um, What church announcements do we have? Oh, as all, well, go ahead. Well, you got some church announcements, Schultz? TheAndrewSchultz.com second leg of the tour is up. Uh, first leg sold out before we went out on tour. The second leg is selling out city by city, man. Please go get those tickets ahead of time. I implore you. I don't want you to have to buy these resale tickets that are for crazy amounts of money. I want every one of you to be able to get those tickets now. Um, the resellers kind of piss me off unless they're fans that can't make it. I'm okay if you are reselling, but like the people who like will buy a bunch of tickets just to resell them and like profit off of the people who are the fans. And the reason that I'm even able to tour over here kind of annoy me. So please go get those tickets immediately. Um, the Andrew Schultz.com with all the cities. And then we got some, some more stuff. Oh, listen to open her up, man. We got over a million views and that's just on the videos. Um, uh, the streams have been crazy too, man. We were top 200 in billboard for a country song, which is fucking absurd. Thank you guys so much. I still want to get number one. So keep on listening to that. Open that shit up, man. Open her up, open her up, open her up. And, um, and yeah, man, thank you guys. Thank you. So the Andrew Schultz.com, get those uh, tickets and we got, I uh, got an announcement soon next week. I think we'll be ready, uh, that I got to share with you guys. I'm excited about. So you, you got well, church yeah. announcements, Wax? <laughs> Yes, uh, thank everybody for coming out the TK show. I got another sponsoring show in um, March, no, May 9th, a Mother's Day weekend in Miami. Uh, we're thinking we're going to be out there. And um, I have a paintball fighting facility out there on my land. I want everybody to start coming. I want to do like a podcast, Wars. So, you know, the fans come fight, come fight against the other uh, podcasts. It'd be really dope. Yeah, come out there. Have fun. We got an amusement park? Uh, no, on my land, I got just a paintball fighting, so they come out there, you know. Where? Out there in Huji. Oh, you yeah, got to tell Charleston. people where it's at. Oh, the Charleston area. And also, we got the Bully and the Beast merch. Come get your mask and stuff. Bully and the Beast, holler at us. We on Wednesdays every week now. So, you know, holler at us. Um, I want to tell y'all to make sure to go to theblackeffect.com. Okay, that's the easiest way that I can tell you to find all Black Effect, you know, podcasts, under one roof. Just go to blackeffect.com. You know what I mean? Every single podcast that's on, that's that's partnered with the Black Effect from 85 South Show to, you know, All the Smoke to Carefully Reckless with Jess Hilarious, Holding Cold with Ebony K. Williams, everything. Just go to the blackeffect.com and it'll take you to, you know, uh, all the podcasts. We just launched that. Um, make sure to pre order, baby, <laughs> State of Emergency. Tamika Mallory, How to Win in the Country We Built. You see me holding it in my hand. It'll be out May 11th, 2021, but it's available for pre-order right now wherever you buy books, courtesy of Black Privilege, Simon & Schuster Publishing. Though. 
Look good. No, that's a, it's a good one. And and Anita Kopak's, man. Anita Kopak Shallow Waters. That'll be out August 3rd. Uh, you can pre-order that now. That's a young adult fiction book. You know, y'all always hear me talk about how I grew up on Judy Bloom and Beverly Clearly. Anita Kopak's is a black woman who who writes, you know, that 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 type of material. And um, she wrote an amazing story about the African, the fictional African uh, god, goddess, Yimiya. I guess she's could be considered fictional, more like folk folklore, but you know, the African goddess Yimiya. And I just thought the story was amazing. So I'm happy that that's the second release on um, Black Privilege Publishing, man. You know, I'm gonna tell you something, man. I really love doing books. You know, I was talking about uh, on Breakfast Club how August 18th, which was last Sunday, was the four year anniversary of Black Privilege Opportunity Comes to Those Who Create It, right? Oh. Thank you to everybody that's, 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 that's bought that book, made it a huge success, New York Times bestseller. And then I put out my second book the next year, Shook One, which is also a national bestseller. And I must say, you know, putting out your own books is great, but assisting people in publishing their books is a much greater feeling. Mm. It, I, I, don't, I don't know why, but I mean, that's just the type of person I am. I like to throw assists, you know what I mean? I like to throw assists more than I like to score points. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a narcissistic, egotistical asshole who wants to suck the air out of the room. I would rather, you know, assist other people in, 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 in living their best life and achieving their dreams. So, yeah, mm. we, got a, we got a lot of dope ass, because Black Privilege Publishing, we already in 2023 with that. So we got a lot of, we got a lot of, Dope titles from really dope people that I that I can't wait to announce in the future. But this year, Tamika Mallory, State of Emergency, How to Win in the Country We Built. And um, on August 3rd, Anita Kopak's Shallow Waters. And just make sure, you know, you keep supporting um, the Black Effect. Like I said, blackeffect.com. Oh, and, and uh, We've Got Answers on Audible. Thank you, man. To everybody who, you know, has downloaded We've Got Answers. Everybody who has an Audible membership who checked it out. You know, that project means a lot to me, too, because... <clears throat> like I, the way me and Andrew, like me and Andrew could sit in here and have a whole conversation, right? We just had a conversation earlier talking about the Derek Chauvin situation and things like that. A lot of white people are afraid to have those conversations. You know what I mean? And that's not going to get us nowhere because if we're supposed to be Americans and it's, you know, we're all under one nation, under God, we're going to have to have these difficult conversations because they do affect everybody. Yeah. What you said yeah. earlier about the Derek Chauvin situation is, is true, Schultz. I hope that's not the reason that they came to a guilty verdict. I hope they came to, to a guilty verdict because mm -hmm. what happened to George Floyd was just wrong. But mm -hmm. if it wasn't a guilty verdict and it was not guilty, there would have been chaos all throughout America. Literally. Yep. You would have had people who were actually upset and, mm -hmm. and just wanted to get some vindication. You would have had a whole other set of people who just want to go loot and get free shit. Right and you would have had people out there who, who were peacefully protesting, but either way, it would have just been all a fucking mess. That impacts all of us. Yes, literally. Black, white, Italian, Asian, Jewish, nobody wants that. So mm -hmm. being that nobody wants that, you know, we got to continue to keep having these difficult conversations, man. And you know, that's, that's, that's what we've got answers, you know, represented. So thank you. Clearly uh, everybody over here is booked and busy. Mm -hmm. Anybody, anybody got any, any, anybody worried about their future? Worried about your future shows? Am I worried about my future? Yeah. No, in what regard? Just in general. No. Exactly. Has, uh, Wax, you worried about your future? Lessons. Other than not being able to get a house? Yeah, that's the only problem right now, literally. Oh, I thought you meant like, am I going to live or something like that? No, yeah, we all, uh, man, we, yeah, we, we, oh, we here, yes, we alive. Yeah, we good. I'm just God. talking about in general. There's people out there stressing. Yeah, people out there I'm don't always, know, don't know what their next I'm move always is going to be. Uh, you know what? The I'm house always, is like the biggest thing that I got going on. Once I get that, I feel like I'm, I got a base. I can actually think. I can't think right now. Yeah. Mm. Let's go through some shit you won't care about next week, man. Um, Hopefully the house. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, well you know what Taylor's this. right. This this definitely goes under what a fucking idiot. What's the PP <laughs> P long girl name? Lakeisha Golden. What'd what she do? More than just one girl, right? She set people. up a. I mean, it's a bunch of them, but she set up a GoFundMe because she's trying to raise twenty thousand dollars to pay back her PPP loans because she doesn't want to go to jail because she got three kids. What's she do with the money? 
I don't know, but I told y'all last year, all y'all motherfuckers was going to jail. I don't know why y'all thought the government was just giving out free money. It's amazing to me that all of these people who believe in conspiracy <laughs> theories, you think that five, uh, five G towers cause Corona. You yeah. think the earth is flat, but <laughs> not once did you think, you know what? This could be a setup. Not saying the government was setting people up on purpose, but if the government allows you to create some dumbass LLC, what is it? I don't fucking know. I, I wear my Timberlands with no laces LLC or whatever the fuck it is, right? And, and, and you fucking <laughs> open up a business and they give you $100,000 or even $20,000. You don't think they coming back for that later Bro, on? I, you know, I was really upset that, that I was like, nobody never give me no fucking money. I want that shit too. And now I'm kind of happy. I'm like, thank God. I'll never qualify for shit. It was not free money at all. And then I saw people in my YouTube comments because I gave the girl donkey of the day. People in my YouTube comments was like, you really think the government coming after somebody for $20,000? Y'all are out of y'all fucking you know mind. Who the fuck that is? They coming for every penny. Why do you think you got to... When you go to the airport with $10,000, you got to declare that shit. Yeah. Yes, they coming after your dumb ass for $20,000. Yeah. And they're going to get a few years of free labor out your stupid ass too mm -hmm. for that $20,000. <laughs> okay? The fuck is wrong with y'all? <laughs> and and I'm yeah. not, and, and, I, and I don't feel sorry for her. Yeah, it you all should. depends on what you really use the money for. Now no. she did it for her three kids, and somebody needed surgery or something mm -mm. like that, and she had to take one for the team. Mm -mm. I I give you five dollars for the um for, for your. Oh, donation. that's a good point. Yeah, yeah like if you if she just, if went you out just and needed a party and shit. Nah, I can tell by the way she spelled that that she wasn't using it for no surgery. She spelled that D A T. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She she literally put in the GoFundMe. She was like, "I need to get this money so that D A T. I don't also, lose my kids." If you got the money for surgery, put the surgery to to use, right? Like if you got some ass or some titties or whatever like that, like let's go make the money back. OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like yeah, that's yeah, a great yeah. investment you can't in do you. It if you up though. Huh? You can't do it locked up. No, I'm saying like now, right? Like if you got, if you took your PPP loans, right? And you got some titties and ass, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Now you got three months to make that 20 grand back or 30 grand back. <laughs> and by the way, you're like, still going to, to jail dancing. even if you paid them back. Because yeah, you lied right. to them. Yes, it's fraud. You lied about having a business and all this other shit. They locking your dumb oh. ass up. Oh. You fucked. Oh, it's a fake business thing. Got you, got you. Yeah. I thought it was just it was, they didn't the use the funds for what they were supposed to be. No, you lied. Used That's fraud, Damn. bro. You lied. And then, you know, I really yeah. don't have remorse because there was a bunch of small businesses out here who needed that money yes. and couldn't get it. Which, which, by the way, which, which really makes me feel like it was some kind of conspiracy because how come all the legitimate businesses couldn't get no motherfucking one money? Thing, yo, and I got companies. I got not, nothing. I got some. You did? Yeah, I got some. I got some too. Yeah, I ain't get shit. I got shit. some, and I, and I didn't. I didn't even know my 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 finance. My finance people salute my salute the humble and Lord. They was like, "Yo, you qualify. You might as well." You know what I mean? But but you got to show that you you really using it for what you are using it for. I was using it for, for for employees. So yeah, you know what I mean? Like I did the right thing with mine. I didn't go to fucking Miami and stay at the Fountain Blue and eat them good ass cookies. Ooh, okay, cookies all right, hey bro. Hey, bro. Cookies that felt blue amazing. Yeah, they are, they are, I always lied and said I didn't eat it when you asked me. You're making it seem I like that's what I shit. did, bro. I didn't do that. You what? I didn't do that. I didn't stay at the Fountain Blue. Let's talk about your boy, man. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Jake Paul. Oh, yeah, man. man those all can fight. fights, man. Ain't no way in fuck I'm paying. I'm, I refused. And I started to. I was laying on the couch. You know, I was laying on the couch and I saw the group chat going off and um, somebody was talking about how entertaining. The Thriller Night was, and oh, I no, went no, to the no. Thriller app, and that shit was forty nine ninety nine, and I said, "Fuck no, <laughs> nah. ain't well, no way in hell." It was a top ten pay per view in history, which was unbelievable. It's one point five million buys. I mean, he is currently the biggest draw in boxing. Whether you like to admit it or not, he is currently the biggest draw in boxing. If Floyd Mayweather comes back, then it's Floyd, but he is currently the biggest name. And draw for a money fight That's in boxing. Started, you might hate it, you might love it, it doesn't matter, but that those are the facts. Is it boxing or is it Jake Paul? Because I feel Paul. like Jake Paul could do a surfboard contest on pay-per-view and a half a million people would nah, probably sign up fight. to see it. They want to see him fight because he's talking shit. Exactly. What he's done is monetize outrage brilliantly. Like I've said this before, I'll say it again. Haters and celebrators pay the same price yeah, of admission. Yeah. And they want to see him get fucked an, up. In an attention economy, hate is the easiest emotion, right? 
We live in an attention economy. It's easier to hate a motherfucker than it is to like a motherfucker. Uh-huh. Think about how amazing and skillful somebody has to be for the three of us to go, nah, he's nice. And oh, even then, we, we, only, kinda, do, we, we only do that for the goats. Yeah. They and and even goats. then, we're going to find a way to get a jab or two in. Facts. Yeah, you you buying Tyson. chains? Braun? Ah, uh, amazing. But look at his hairline. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Mike Tyson? Exactly. Mike Tyson? Ah, so, uh, I mean, listen. Off. His fucking, he bits to be the Holyfield's ear off. No, we, we, Mike, we've gotten to the point where Mike will be like, Mike wasn't that scary. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We fi- we'll find a way, even with our greats, to tear them down a little bit. Fuck you know up. what I'm saying? But the people we hate, we just hate without question. And if we want to see those people get punched and get knocked out and we got to pay the same price, we yeah, will. And he is brilliant in his ability to monetize that and, two, his ability to be okay with that. Not everybody can sustain internet hate. Not I, everybody can walk that, in the that fire. That was a fall fight, though, man. You know that, Schultz. You know that wasn't a fall fight. fight. That's a fall fight, Nah, man. that wasn't a fall fight. Come on, that, that guy. That wasn't a fall fight. He got hit. He got caught. He got caught. The guy got caught. Jake Paul does hit hard. It don't matter. Jake Paul That's can a fall hit. fight. You're supposed to do that. That's all in boxes. Nobody know the first 20 fights. All fall I'm fights. I'm telling you, bro. I... I've been talking to uh, to oh, Ben. Ben Askren is the guy who fought him, and he's like, "No, of course not. There's nothing that I have, that I would have to gain from that. It was embarrassing. He wanted to beat him, obviously, right. but uh, and why would it be yeah. a fall fight when this guy came in built like a fucking substitute teacher, bro? Literally, you that's know what, what I'm saying? saying? He grabbed anybody. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, he came. He came in the ring. He was. You weren't even in fighting shape, bro. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's, it's anybody he threw there. Oh, somebody said they'll fight you. Get the draw big and whatever. Somebody real. If you want to get somebody for real, they got a nah. lot of guys out there that beat the shit nah. out of him and his weight. If I was Jake Paul, this is my advice to Jake Paul. Don't listen to nobody telling you that you got to fight real boxes. Get the fuck out of You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I would keep doing exactly what the fuck I'm doing right now. Calling out, calling out athletes, calling out celebrities. You got your own shit going on yep. with Trilla. Trilla ain't Showtime. Trilla mm-hmm. ain't HBO. Trilla not The Zone. You can run Trilla. Yep. Let all these celebrities feel like Smart. they can knock you out. Let people off the street feel like they can fight you. Yep. And you just go in there and keep getting pieces of that pay-per-view. If you're doing numbers like 1.5 and putting rappers and whoever else on the undercard and other fights on the undercard, stay right where That's you fine. at, Jake. Because don't let don't let these motherfuckers trick you nope. to get your Bro, ass beat. Then it's over. He got it. Yeah. Basically, it, it, you get your ass beat for the biggest payday. It got to be like, Floyd. Exactly. Canelo. Or, or Connor. Floyd or Connor, but like it's not worth getting your ass beat for no money. Like I keep telling people, keep saying to me, like he's got to fight a real boxer. I'm like, why? He's why? not trying yeah, to win why? a title. Is, why? He's trying to win money. money. You yes. fight the the fights that get you the most money, That's not the it. ones that get you to the title. How many boxers in history have been making millions of dollars in their first three fights? Never been done. Uh-huh. Think about it. So get we care about the belt because we care about the sport uh-huh. and we're looking for the best of the sport he's like i'm looking to make money at this activity yeah so great. what is the best way to make money at this activity i don't hate it go for it get your him. fucking money bro I ain't mad at him, but I do want to see him like go against somebody because it's like why y'all giving this guy so much praise knowing that this is bullshit like you say there's a substitute teacher who went in there they ain't nah, the guy who went in there him. had had an incredible MMA career. That's right. He was undefeated in, but he's a wrestling, he's a wrestling guy. So his hands are not that nice, but at wrestling, he was the nicest. They are very different things. And he's yes, of course, you want to see him step up against competition. But here's the thing. He knows that. He knows <laughs> that he should take the most lucrative fucking fights. This is a no brainer. Like, get I'm not, your if goddamn I'm Jake money. Paul, y'all ain't y'all ain't tricking me out of my spot. <laughs> Especially if I'm getting a piece of the, if I'm getting a piece of the pay per view, I'm sure he's getting a piece she of them pay per view numbers, well, and I'm sure is. it's a chunky piece too. Uh-huh. Yeah, he gets a piece of Triller. I bet. Now here's the <clears> thing: <throat> the Triller, the whole card and shit sucked. Like, cut the music out. I don't want to see fucking Saweetie lip sync. I don't give a fuck about Doja Cat. Cut all that nonsense out. Maybe you do one performance where where it's one song, but like, we don't need it. It's stupid. Get but it you, out of but, here. But but but, you're also old. And I'm old. Yeah. You got to think about the crowd that they're catering to. You got yeah. if the headliner is a YouTube star, I'm gonna get two of these people that I know get a lot of views on YouTube. Uh-huh. Sweetie and Doja Cat, let them perform. It's keeping the kids' attention, man. Yeah. I would but love to see the demo of the is. people ordering them Trilla fights. I bet you it's kids. Yep, that's why the numbers. I don't know if good. it is, man. I think that it's more. I think it's more older people that are just. Uh, 
curious about him trolling the MMA world. I think it's a lot of MMA fans that want to see him get knocked out. I think it's a lot of boxing fans that want to see him get knocked out. I don't know how many kids are into this, but maybe, maybe you're right. Alex was saying the same thing on flagrant, but I don't know personally if that's what it is. All I'm saying is you got something really interesting. Like when they were just talking in the booth, you had crime faces, you had Snoop, you had Mario Lopez, like Oscar De La Hoya for a second. Oscar De La Hoya was coked out of his fucking mind. Eight ball to the (laughs) dome, and he was so goddamn entertaining. Keep Oscar on the cocaina. I bet you wax won't pull pull his dick out around Oscar. For what? Oh, no. Oscar sucked the skin right off of that. My wiener has a first name. (laughs) Oscar starts singing. (laughs) My my wiener has a first name. It's (laughs) O-S-E-A-R. Nope. Listen, I like Pete Davidson doing the fucking... Behind the stage shit, backstage. Listen, I wouldn't order that shit, but yeah. the shit I saw on social media was great. Yeah, I thought I thought Pete did a great job he until he him, went though. into the into the locker rooms, and then the poor kid melted. Like he had some funny things that he said. Like in the beginning, he was like, uh, he was like, this whole thing just proves if you have enough followers, you could do I anything. That. I saw that on social and media. I thought it was a funny. And he's like, the good thing about this is that at least one of them is going to get hurt. And it was like he had some funny jokes, and then he went to the locker room, and then he then he basically says, "Yo, Jake Paul, nobody likes the other guy, Ben Askren. He's a tool." And then he goes into Askren's locker room, and Askren's like, "Yo, why were you saying that about me? Is that like an act that you're playing for TV?" And he's like, "No, not at all. Uh, I mean, the other guy, Jake Paul, is a tool. What are you talking about? I'm rooting for you. We're all rooting for you." And it was just like, "Come on, bro." Oh, Ben heard it. Yeah, he heard it and said, yo, make sure he comes to my locker room. And he called him out and he fucking folded. Yeah, and and, and, and Pete also said, oh, you like, you're the real deal. And I'm looking at Pete. No, no, he's not the real deal. That's, that's, what the fuck is this going on? Set yeah. up Jake Paul and Wax. Chokes. I'm tired of that's this shit. That's a baby fight. Set up Jake Paul and Wax. Chokes. That's a baby fight. Chokes. You want me to set it up? Set up yeah, Jake Paul and Wax, wax. Bro. That is a if baby. If I'm Jake Paul, I'm not fighting Wax because Wax ain't big enough, bro. Listen, that's a not, baby how big is, How big is Jake fight. Paul? No, no, in terms of, like, his his fame. Nah, we like, can we sell that. Make Dude, wax more we didn't know that fucking Ben, Ben, Ben Puffer man. What's he his was, name? He was, he was infamous in MMA. Never he heard infamous. of him. Never heard of him. And Son, listen, he has the fastest knockout care, in listen, MMA history. I don't care if Bro, he got knocked out, but bring, it was still the listen, I don't care if you want to do, like, the Rocky fight when they fought in the street. <laughs> we can do that for you, too, nigga. Yeah. For anybody... You already know what time it is, Schultz. Schultz. If we anybody can... see me actually fight, if you're one of the people who actually see me get it in. So you, sh- you already know Schultz. exactly what you, time it is. We can, crazy listen, right we can now? sell a Jake Paul wax fight. Wax, I'm telling you this. Wax is talking crazy right now. I've beat Wax in an arm wrestle with my left hand. I beat him with <laughs> in, my, in an arm wrestle with my left hand. Schultz is one of the people who was actually able to see me get it in in my life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, no. Which no not, wax not is, too many people. They, you know how many people wax is different. Your shoes? Wax is different. Wax is different. You are different. Thank and you. Jake and, Paul and, or and Wax? I, Who wins shows? He, Jake Paul or Wax? It's strict. It's a street fight. Uh, no, 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 no. It's In the ring. Boxing. boxing. Straight boxing. Are you serious? <laughs> honestly, <laughs> honestly, you're not paying attention. Honestly, not, I got honestly, not though, attention. I listen. I love my brother. I and love I, my brother I, too, and but I hate he's getting slept. I hate to bet on a white man against my brother. Well, that's your fault. Nyquil. Nyquil. <laughs> I think it's Jake Paul. Time. He may not knock him out, but I think Jake Paul wins this, bro. Wins bed what? Time, in a bro. boxing ring? At talking? Nope, in a boxing ring. Why are you playing? In a boxing Yo, ring. I, I'm not even, I know I'm not paying it. attention to this. Get him on FaceTime. Yo, call him on FaceTime right now, show. There's no Yo, way straight. possible. Get Jake. I'm serious. We can Yo, tell Jake Paul we got his next match. <laughs> All right. It's our guy, Wax. We uh-huh. can sell it real big. Be a brilliant idiot. The Breakfast Club, all over the Black Effect podcast. Blame, there were, we can make this a thing. Be good. We, we can make this a thing. He's coming off a, a, an Achilles injury. He's coming That's, off an Achilles yeah, injury. So, so, I, so yes, he's, I'm slower. He's never I'm had fat. any amateur fights. I'm no f- amateur fights. Never, never, nothing. Never. He just feels nope. like he's fresh off the street I'm and can beat street. you, Jake Paul. And I think that I, I don't know how. To, and and I'm just. I want to practice. I, I don't believe in it. So tell him all that type of stuff. I'm coming off the injury. I'm a little slower. I just had a baby, so I got fat. All that stuff. 
He, yo, Wax, Jake Paul will beat Wax. Slept in the first round, bro. Like first, yo, I, no, I think by second, I think second, because his conditioning, Wax condition is terrible. Conditioning you know what I mean? Trash. He don't realize he's almost forty anymore. He still thinks he can do the same things that he used to do. Jake now, Paul walks Wax down. Down. Well, yeah, he's ring. gonna walk you down. Now I will say so, this: Do you if really it's a street believe fight, that this no, guy no, could walk wax, me down? Wax, wax, wax. If it's a street fight, there are very few human beings that I think could beat you up. I ain't human say street beings, fight. I'm talking about in that few. ring, Schultz. It, I, it, in the ring is different, bro. In the ring is so different. So you're telling wax. me basically I don't know how to throw my hands. That's all you're saying. No, I, don't, I think it's a <laughs> science. I think I, it's a sure. science yeah. to boxing <laughs> that that Jake Paul knows I, I, better than you. I, I no doubt, and I and I and I probably do that. He probably boxed more than I, I have right now at this present time. So right now, Schultz, how many how how long you think you will last in the ring with him real fast? Who with with Jake? Yes. Um. I don't know. That's a great question. Until my cardio gives up. I mean, All right, like, so say if your cardio get up and you training with the guy right now, how long you think you'll last with this guy? If my cardio is there, I, I, I'm pretty good in the ring in terms of like, I can survive. No if doubt. my cardio is there, I can survive. If my cardio is not there, then it goes and it's just like, you know, I'm, not, it, I'm, not, it's I'm hard, about to ask man. you a serious question. How long yeah. you think you'll last in the ring with me? I could last as long as I want to carry you. I'll carry you for I'll, I'll last as I long as I want to carry. Yeah, you are seriously serious. I don't think you understand <laughs> boxing conditioning, bro. No, no, no. I I I, I think, deal with this. And, you know, and, and, and boxing and, conditioning is so bad that if you when you get tired for a second, them hands drop a little bit. Bap bap. Night yeah, night. Bap bap. Really about Wax to is get a meme. In. Listen, <laughs> I don't want that for you, Wax. I don't want I, I, that for you, I'm going to tell you this like right now. We jumping, I, Jake Paul. Jake is, Paul, I'm telling you right now. Because I know you're going to knock my guy out. We got to jump you, you after that for the culture, bro. I can't believe you Yo, said that. That's for cultural purposes, we, got we will to. have to jump him. We got to treat it like it's the, it was a not you guilty verdict in the shopping trial, bro. this guy at all. Mob justice. Fuck all that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can't have that on my conscience. I ain't conscience. worried about that. That's one, that's one of the last things I'm worried I about. Think, I think... I think that I, we'll have to explain it like that. We'll have to congratulate him on the victory because it's a hard-fought victory. And then afterwards, for cultural purposes, we'll have to take it into the streets. Listen to me. Yeah. I'm not worried about losing to Jake Paul. You He's should too be. He's small. He's going to lose. Let me see. I'm You're I, telling Paul me. Paul ain't that small, bro. It don't bro. matter. You got to understand that. I you think he's six foot who, two? I need 300 pounds for me to actually look at you as something. You see what I'm saying? I'm not looking at that. That's not. That's too small for me. I'm a little different. Jake Paul is six one. I ain't got nothing to do with that. Let me see. I don't care if he's six ten. That it has seems like you're backing out of the fight, though. I told Wax. you, Wax. It seems like you're backing out. No, I'm not. I'm telling him let's do it. Or Jake I'm Paul telling anybody away, let's bro. do it. I will sit there and destroy anybody that have come over on the other side of me. That's just what I do. That's, you're talking to somebody <laughs> like whatever you do. You, you, listen, would you, kill, would you kill? Would you kill when you go on, on stage? Show me you go you kill when you in a breakfast club. This is something that I actually know. What Not to in do. that ring. You bugging. You're bugging. Like, what, like you're Andrew bugging. said, street you're fight bugging. all day ain't long. A, listen, it ain't about street fighting. I know how to throw my hand. Nah, Jake Paul embarrassed you in that Did ring. You oh, meet him? Yo, like, I think Jake Paul. Ring. I think wow. Jake Paul gets you, bro. I think right, he well, gets you, dude. Listen, like I said, we want to do the Rocky out on the street. No, we around. want the ring. I'm, then let's do the ring. I'm down. Yo, Jake, let's this. do it. Yes. Let's, let's go. see if we can get this going on Trilla. Let's Yo, go. Trilla, folks, wh whatever access you need to me and Andrew Schultz, all we need is 10% of the pay per view. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Let Wax Listen, get a percentage of the pay per view. I ain't worrying about this at all. If y'all want to do it, I'm down. Even you want to do like the Rocky fight in the street, I'm down. This is going to be you, easy. You keep one. trying to make it I'm in the street. I'm very confident in my hands. I'm very confident boxing in my skill. Bout. Your feet wouldn't even know what to do in boxing shoes. All right, perfect. Are you so used to wearing Tim's? All right, perfect. All right, no doubt. I think Jake Paul chips him up, Shows. Right, I'm not well, going to lie to you, bro. Set that boy up if you want to. I do. I think Yo, Jake You've been Paul, setting people up for a long listening. time. I think Jake Paul. Charlamagne's been setting people up for no, years. I think Jake Paul <laughs> chips I'll I set him up today. Uh, I think Jake Paul go to a restaurant and tell somebody, smack him, and I'll give you some money. And do a look at me. I said, go ahead and have fun. That's a street I, fight. <laughs> no, 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 I'm, not, I'm in that no, ring, no, man. No. I don't know, I, bro. I don't know. And let's make it happen. Okay. So yep. listen. The ring is different. Listen. I do you even you know how to throw different. combinations, bro? what you're saying. That's, I'm going to see somebody Wax, in front of me. Do you know I'm how to throw combinations? Business. 
<laughs> I'm gonna handle my business. <laughs> if Jake Paul got we, if Jake Paul Andrew. knocks you, if Jake Paul knocks you up, yes, what's and up? you end up yeah. flat on your face like yes. Nate Robinson, amazing. You gotta wear a dress. No, we have to. They have somebody has to be able to pull your. B- boxes down so your cheeks uh-huh. are just out what? <laughs> so and, then, cool. and, then, so that's the and then and then they gotta put a flag in your butthole and <laughs> stick the flag Andrew. in your butthole listen <laughs> and it says Jake Paul uh, on the flag hey, our rose like on the bachelor and Jake, uh. Jake Paul's like yo Wax I just wanna give you your roses <laughs> put the, put the me, rose man. between your cheeks listen we got Instagram we got all type of things that definitely can make this happen like I said I would definitely beat him the fuck up. I'm not worrying about no Jake Paul. Like is that. easy money, baby. Let's it's, do it. It's, it's it easy might money. be easy money, dude. It's easy money. Nobody. It's, it's how long has it been since, since you've had a boxing match? Attention. Huh? How long has it been since you had a boxing match, Wax? Um, it's been a while, but I'm not worrying about that. I'm very skilled. I'm. I'm still. It's like riding a bike for me. Certain things are like riding a bike for me. You sound you like Andrew saying he can do heart surgery. No, bro. it's not. You like, do. Right now, right now, if you sit there and be like, "Yo, Wax," I'm about to hook you up with a spelling bee. I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna lose. You see what I'm saying? That ain't my shit. Yeah. I know with throwing my hands and being very skilled to know exactly what time is. I'm very confident about that. It's one of the things I am. You see this? This book is called State of Emergency. That's what would happen if Jake Paul and Wax got in the ring, okay? It would be a state Yo, of emergency because Jake true, Paul would knock him I out. Tamika would have to it. come out and do a speech. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay? That's how bad it would be, bro. All right? I'm telling you right Andrew, now, Jake you know Paul, you won't last 30 seconds with me. I don't Andrew. believe it. Schultz, set it up. Here's the thing. And I don't think the same thing Who with that think boy. I don't think. Longer, him in the box with Jake or Andrew going to jail a prison? Huh? Andrew in prison. Longer? Andrew in prison. <laughs> yes, that's an No, 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 no definitely prison, Andrew in sure. prison. Andrew in prison. Andrew in prison. For sure. Andrew in prison. Because if I, because because Jake and Wax, how long is a ring? How long is a round? Three minutes? It's three minutes. But also the thing about me in prison, I'm annoying. Like they're going to start trying to no, rate no, me no, and then I'm going to like tell them my right opinions away. about the world and shit. And they're going to be like, man, I don't even want to rate them. So I'm going to smack you in the back of your head real fast. <laughs> and get you to look, get all that funny shit out of the way. They're going to smack you back of your head real fast and get all that funny <laughs> so shit. stupid, man. And then you're going to really have to deal with consequences. Basically, you're going nah, to try to keep talk keep yourself out of it. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> And then you know, they guys talk their way out the pussy. He think he gonna talk his way out of the dick. <laughs> oh no, you getting that? I'm gonna be in there, be like, well, what do you guys think about the wage gap? They'll be like, oh god, <laughs> nah, 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 that ain't the gap we talking about, baby. All right, which one are you talking about? Listen, please hit up Jake. Listen, man, we could definitely. make I that think we happen. can make this happen for definitely, the fall. Definitely, Jake Paul versus Wax. Thank you. Give me something to actually really. It makes sense. It's it easy. makes sense. Here's the thing, Wax. The advantage Wax has is he's he is a lot of mass. Like anytime Wax and I would like joke around shadow box, right? Anytime he like really insert himself, he's very quick, but he's also just a lot and fast. And Jake don't, don't would have to tell keep the distance. Nothing. I'm slow. I'm weak. There's nothing I can do to the guy. Just set it up and don't even promote nothing. I don't want nobody showing nothing about me. I'm the little guy. Make it happen, mm. and I'll show you what time it is. Jake Paul versus Wax. You know what I'm saying? Let's do it. Pay attention, you man. Know? I don't think y'all paying attention was really going I on. I don't know what, what we need to do to make this happen. We can get the sponsors. You know what I'm saying? We can make this we happen, We need to make man. Wax a superstar celebrity. That's really what it is. Huh? We need to make Wax a superstar celebrity. If Wax was a superstar celebrity and we could guarantee 1.5 million buys, I'm sure he'd be down. See, I don't know if we can guarantee that. I don't that. guarantee he's going to get a million and something buys. I don't think 1.5 million people tuned in for Ben, bro. I think Jake um, Paul is just that much of a draw. I think Jake Paul really is is that guy. Really? And, and, and that's right up his alley. Meaning, like, he's a social media sensation. He's fighting on an app. They know it's a bunch of shit before this fight. Because I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not in that world. I heard about the fight. I didn't think that shit was going to be 1.5 million goddamn buys. Yeah. They fought a man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So somebody can see him get knocked out, they'll do it again. I think I think it, I think it will do wonders for Jake Paul to fight somebody who's six foot three, 230, 240 pounds. To knock out somebody like that. Uh, yeah, I'd be easy to knock him out. That'd be like... No, 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 no. Mm. All right, we'll see. We'll That's see. your fault. That's your fault for thinking that. We'll I, see. Ain't nothing I can do with that. Let's, let's, let's pay some bills. It's like Andrew just now said, there's nothing he can do with me. In 30 seconds, you know I could put you down in 30 seconds with just boxing. 
I don't think you've been watching nothing, Jake Paul, bro. I, I, listen, I'm talking about somebody who understands what boxing is and knowing that he tried to run and try to move. It's nothing you can do with the type of force Jake and power Paul that is I in have. that ring, bro. I throwing ain't got them blows, to do with. That's bro. his fault for doing all that training and still going to lose. That's his fault. I ain't got nothing to do with that. Ain't no shit talking. I'm not WWE. I'm not Hulk Hogan, nobody. Okay, I'm just, I'm just let's, showing you let's, my let's, let's see. I want to see how sure you are about this. Let's talk to me. Would you bet your butt? Come on, man. <laughs> No, what you mean? I think she's paying bills, what man. What you mean? <laughs> Pay no, a bill. I need to know how sure you are. Would you yeah. bet some cheeks? Oh my Let's God. pay some bills, Would you bro. Would bet some cheeks, you man? Like Fuck. You remember, on, you remember on that, te- oh, that movie, Above the Rim, when they used to play Boots? And he's like, bend over. <laughs> this would be around the rim, okay? You and you will, you willing to bet some cheeks? Wait, above the rim. Not above, above the, the rim, rim around that? the rim. Come on, man, Boots. All right, uh, this episode of Brilliant Idiots is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. You'll find what you need, whether you're showcasing your work, blogging and publishing content, selling products and services, announcing upcoming events, or anything you can dream of. Buying a domain from Squarespace is easy because there are no hidden fees or price hikes. And get to know your audience with their analytics tools. Those include insight on page views, traffic sources, time on site, audience geography, and more. It's also simple to start with a design template and use drag and drop tools to make it your own. All websites are optimized for mobile. Your site looks great on any device. Every Squarespace website and online store comes with a suite of integrated features and useful guides that help maximize prominence among search results. These SEO tools are paramount. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash idiot with offer code idiot for 10% off your first purchase. Let's get back to the show. Let's get into some shit you won't care about next week. Uh, Dave Chappelle is doing what I thought he should have been doing, which is a podcast uh, on Luminary with uh, Most Def, a.k.a. Uh, Yasmin Bey and Talib Kweli. Um, I'm interested in this only because I'm one of those people who don't think podcasts behind a paywall work. Um... If Chappelle can't get people to pay for a podcast, I don't think nobody will. People like to use the Patreon uh, model as an example. I think the Patreon model is different because it's not like, and I could be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, it's not like you're just on there doing an exclusive podcast every week. Don't y'all do exclusive content just for the Patreon shows? No, we just do one extra episode a week. Okay. Which is on Patreon. But, um... What the reason why I think that works is because you have the free episode where you bring people into your family, yeah, and then they get to opt in on spending more time with the family, yeah. So if you're already behind the paywall, it's harder for you to acquire new family members. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Chappelle doesn't need more fans. He's got the most fans. He's the fucking living goat. So there's nothing more that he could possibly need. I'm just curious why he went with. Luminary, because I'm sure Spotify would have given him the exact same deal or Apple would have given him the exact same deal. There there are pay platforms that have the money that be more than happy to pay you because you're fucking Dave Chappelle. So going with the worst paid platform for podcasts is just weird to me. Yeah, Luminary and Endeavor, and I I, I, I could be wrong. This is the brilliant of this podcast. We don't deal with much facts. I haven't seen a lot of success. You know no, what I mean? None. He, probably, I, he probably did a build it up. I've seen a lot of podcasts go behind the Luminary Endeavor paywall and kind of like lose a lot of momentum. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I haven't heard nobody out here screaming the, you know, successes of being behind Luminary and Endeavor. Not, no, no disrespect to those companies, you know? And, uh, you know, I'm glad y'all landed a big fish like Dave Chappelle, but you know, I just want to see. I just want to see if it'll work or not. You know, that's all. I don't, I don't, I, I don't know. Chappelle is it's a great, great move job. for Luminary. You said what? It's a it's amazing move for Luminary. Amazing. I mean, I think Luminary. I don't know the numbers, and again, brilliant idiots. But I assume that you know things were not the best for Luminary, and then throwing that hail mary on fourth down, and then landing the fucking biggest shark in yeah. the ocean. Shit. But I mean, Apple. So, Apple to your point. Apple has um a subscription based podcast now. So I know Apple. Yes. That would have been super sexy for Apple. Spotify, same thing. You know, I think I think academics is over at Spotify now, which I think is a great move. 
You know, it's like, go get the check. You know, like the thing that scared, that yes. always, you know, scared me about Spotify was, you know, w once you get behind that Spotify wall, like you're, you're, you're a, a prisoner to just who's on Spotify. Exactly. It's hard to acquire new fans. Yeah. So it's like, if you're, if you're still in the growth stage, you know, which I see ourselves as myself as, is I want to grow. So I want to be accessible to everybody, but Chappelle doesn't need to grow because he's as big as it gets. So I understand him wanting to cash out. Same thing with Rogan. Like, I understand you want to get that huge chunk. Like, don't get me wrong. That makes perfect sense. I'm not mad. He's 52. Um, yeah, get out the way. Exactly. But I understand why Rogan went to Spotify because there are already so many fucking people on Spotify. It's seamless. Luminary, nobody's on it. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. But who knows? Maybe it'll work. Yeah, I mean, listen, I'm, 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 I'm not rooting against it. You know, I just want to see. Like, that's all. I just want to see. I'm, I'm, I'm a, I'm, I just believe that paid, I think t paid pod, podcasts behind a paywall don't work unless you're, you know, giving them something else. Like, it makes sense. You know, y'all got flagrant. And you can steer people to the to the to the to the Patreon, you know what I mean. But it's I'm sure how many people, how many Patreon members y'all got? We got like twenty thousand or something like that. Twenty thousand. Yeah. Flagrant Two probably does like I don't know two hundred thousand an episode maybe. What in views? Oh, just re well not on views, just regular audio. Oh, regular audio and video, we do half a million an episode. Half a million an episode. So I mean that's good, right? Like you you you're giving away another episode. You get you selling, you get twenty thousand people to come over paying. That's cool. Right. You know what I mean? I mean but amazing. you wouldn't give up. You wouldn't give up those half a million views and Hell listeners no. for nah. that twenty thousand. The, the way I look at it is like we still get to react to and influence culture through the regular episode, and then we get to have that more like intimate experience with the the super supporters on the Patreon, and you get the best of both worlds right there. And the Patreon provides us with so much protection because, you know, we're some wild boys and if sponsors get scared, they could go fucking running. But the Patreon holds you down. Those yeah. are the people that ride for you. Those are the people that want to support you. They want to protect you. And that's your security in case some shit goes down. We we know that we got that. And, so, and, and, and you're right. And another thing, too, to your uh, like, I think people don't realize podcasts like Flagrant, like you are a podcast, but you're also a YouTube show. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So 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 you got two different audiences. There might be people that there might be people that watch y'all on YouTube that don't listen to the audio and vice versa. So many. But yeah. you get both of those you you built up enough cachet with both those audiences to where 20,000 people decided, "Hey, I'm gonna fuck with this Patreon shit too and pay for that as well." That's an, yep. I want I want I wanted to say that too about just like, you know, new people coming in the game when it comes to the podcast space. I think we might be confusing people just a little bit because mm. there is a difference between YouTube in the audio. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I, I see comments on YouTube and they be like, damn, man, Brilliant Idiots should be bigger. I'm like, yo, Brilliant Idiots is one of the biggest podcasts out here, audio-wise. Yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? We, but they're looking at YouTube. In, yeah, like, we came into... We came into podcasting when it was almost strictly audio. Yes. And, you know, one of the things that I saw early on in podcasting was it was really hard to find a podcast randomly. So that's when I brought in my little brother and I was like, yo, let's videotape all these things because I see the success of The Breakfast Club and how so many new people can find The Breakfast Club from those YouTube videos. So I'm like, yo, if we put out YouTube videos, maybe people could find us through YouTube and then start listening to the whole podcast. Absolutely. And, but we came through at a time where it was audio. So the majority of our listeners slash viewers are audio. Flagrant grew through video. That's right. So many people saw my stand-up clips. So many people saw my appearances on other big uh, podcast platforms, like my TED Talks and shit. So they knew me from YouTube and then came over to this podcast that was also on YouTube. So it's really interesting to see like how your audience... But you know what's crazy is happening? Is now our YouTube is growing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Because y'all are a great for YouTube brilliant. show. Yeah, no, but for brilliant. Now our YouTube is starting to grow. Oh, yeah. I mean, because we, we're here consistently. You know what I mean? Exactly. It looks like we got a fucking set. You know what I mean? Like, it's this, it's the same shit. But I, I, just, I just want the kids out there to know all the new people coming into the space that it is two different things. I guess we're kind of blessed because, like, we, like you said, we were around before the YouTube thing was a thing thing. But a lot of these people are coming in, starting YouTube shows first that's what it is. and saying this is a podcast 
Like, no, it's not. It's a YouTube show. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you can, and some of these people are doing YouTube with no audio on the podcast. Like, at least yeah, put your shit yeah. on SoundCloud, put your 100%. shit on Apple. You know what I mean? Put your shit on Spotify, put your shit where you yeah. can actually listen to podcasts too. Put it everywhere. I think you should put it everywhere. Like, Excellent. I mean, I think a lot of people probably saw Breakfast Club as a YouTube show, but it was a radio 100%. show. 100%. But it's also a podcast. It's, it's also like, a podcast now. It could be, it's it's a clip show. Like I bet you there are people who only watch Brilliant Idiots clips. They don't even watch the full episode or listen. They just watch the clips. That's how I am with certain podcasts. Yeah, like yeah, I'll yeah, watch life. tons of Rogan clips. Like I'll watch more clips than the fucking podcast itself. But for whatever reason, I just like digesting things in shorter amounts of time. And if it's a somebody I really love, then I'll listen to the whole episode yeah. on Rogan. So. I feel like it's smart to put yourself out there for all the different ways to consume things. Yeah, I mean, listen, Breakfast Club is consumed four different ways through radio, through regular, just listening to your radio, the iHeart app, whatever it is, um, YouTube, um, the podcast, and social media clips. That's, yep. how I, that's how I know people. I only know people through clips. I don't know these people. Like Some people I might think I know, but I only see them through clips. I don't really know their life. Yeah. You know, you they know, gonna make yeah. some clips of you and Jake Paul for sure, though. That's a fact. Oh man, that meme is gonna be clips. nuts. That meme is gonna be nuts. Listen, man, set it. That's all I have to say. Set it up, man. I make y'all proud <laughs> or upset. Probably upset. I wouldn't be upset because I expect you to lose. That's what I'm saying. So when I win, you are gonna be upset? No, I'm gonna be happy if you win. I'm gonna be like, oh shit, Wax showed us something in that ring. The fuck mm -hmm. you mean? The ring, man. The <laughs> ring is different, bro. I don't give a fuck what I'm you talking you, about. That man. ring is different, Shit. man. You might get performance anxiety man, in there, man, bro. You bugging. All right. Come on now. You think you think me fighting a man, or something I actually do, is be more? I have a, a more anxiety than having having pussy in front of me. That's what? that's more intimidating. Pussy more intimidating over somebody I know I could actually really beat the fuck up. No, Jake gonna beat your cheeks. That's what Jake gonna do. <laughs> Jake gonna, you looking at Jake. You see, when you looking at a vagina, you like, man, I'm about to tear that shit up. It's that's always how, intimidating when you go That's how in Jake looking person. at you. Jake looking at you like, I'm about to tear that big black shit up, bro. Uh, Jake fuck with black women? I ain't worried. Uh, I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know. I don't I see why not. Worried. I would actually be like, yeah, that was a really good one. But I don't think I'm gonna lose. I know I'm not gonna lose. How do we spend this? Do we make it racial? I mean, that's the easiest way to make the money is if we make make it racial. Uh, you gotta have a little race in it. Like, like you gotta have a little Balboa, race in it, like bro. Like Rocky Balboa and the Russian guy. Yeah, you gotta have uh, a little race in it. Just a little. I don't even know who what he is, so I can't even. I don't even know what to say. You don't know what Jake yeah. Paul is. What is he? White? Yeah, you don't need to get in the ring with him because you don't got eyes. You can't. He's see. white. He could be Russian. He could be fucking Canadian. That's all white. Oh, it is. They're white too, bro. Oh my was, god! I thought it was different. <laughs> you seen a, you seen a black oh Russian god, before, bro? Oh my god! Yeah, Imagine white, how confused well, Black been this last seven years. We've been doing this podcast. Let's do some asking idiots. Yeah, I've never seen a white Jamaican. Hold on, wait, wait. John Paul. I seen a white Jamaican. Yeah. All right, let's do John some Paul. asking idiots. Yeah. Wait, hold on, y'all didn't want to talk about Nike um, stopping Kobe Bryant. <laughs> I don't even understand. I don't know what that is. I don't know what. The, I'm sure it's nah. something else. I don't know what the business. I don't. I haven't understood the story. Ask an idiot. It. Let's get. Let's get some asking idiots. Yeah, let's do asking idiots. Um, oh, this is a good one. Which one? The one from Kobe. Okay, so he says, would you rather eat a cake while sitting on a dick or eat a dick while sitting on a cake? Fuck. <laughs> 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 this is telling me. I feel like I asked That's a good that one. <laughs> I, would you is rather dick eat hard? a cake nah, you gotta, you, like, you while gotta, sitting you, on a dick? Is the dick hard? Or eat a dick while that's, that's not on cool a cake. because the house is on fire and all the doors is locked. You gotta have one of the doors open. What? What do you mean? It's windows. Wait, what? Jump out the window. You got one, you gotta jump out that fucking window. <laughs> no. Unlock the window. Or something. Is a, he, I, I, There's I, no way out though. Why? I would rather eat a cake while sitting on a dick. Come on. <laughs> no, but <laughs> is, out of is the dick hard or soft? <laughs> if it's soft, I'll yeah, yeah, sit on the see. dick and then I'll just eat the cake. And sitting on a dick could be just sitting on somebody's lap. Yeah. <sighs> I'll sit on the dick and eat the cake. That's Dude, it. why were you thinking it's hard, Wax? Oh, yeah, wow. <laughs> you, you, you a wild boy. Your cheeks no, no wild, wild dog. Your cheek, because when I thought sitting on the dick, I ain't think of nothing else other than sitting on somebody's lap. I ain't never even thought about even What'd you think about? That? I'm not sitting on the dick? Nah, man. <laughs> why would you want to, like, I, I, I ain't like doing this with y'all. Next. <laughs> eat a cake. <laughs> what you eat mean? Cake. You got to do the would you rather. Oh, God. There's right, no way out, though. Give me a way out. You're not even going to ask what kind of cake it is? At, give me a way out, though. Eat the cake. Now nah, you got to be like, listen, eat some uh, uh, laxative cake. 
Oh, well, there's a lot of would you rather is really, really whack. So. <laughs> All right, next one, Taylor, go. Okay, well, in the meantime, you trying to get some hot shit. <laughs> in the meantime, all right, David Fosper wants to know: Give me one thing you like about each other, and one thing y'all don't like about each other. Be Ooh, honest. spicy. Give me one thing you like about each other, and one thing you don't like about each other. Um, I know. I like that Charlemagne can convince himself of anything, and I don't like that Charlemagne can convince himself of anything. I was gonna, I, you know what I was going to say? Dang. I love that Andrew is always trying to find the funny in everything, Dang. and I hate that Andrew is always trying to find the funny in everything. Why, why though? Why do you hate it, though? Because a- Andrew's a wild boy, man. Andrew checked me on my shit yesterday, bro. <laughs> I'm like, I mean, it made it to it made it to social media after we beat it up a little bit, <laughs> but <laughs> it's, it's it's just stupid, man. But like I, Andrew I texted was like, Charla, I texted Charla something. Charla had an intervention with me on the phone. He, we brought three <laughs> other people on the phone at the same time because I had to make sure we bet this one before we run it. We run it up the flagpole because no, it's a, it's a, it's a jo- it was a good joke. Tell the story. Tell the story. Andrew texts me and Andrew goes, it's right after the verdict comes in. So he texts me, he goes, yeah, man, bummer, man. White boy summer's officially canceled, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, mind you, I'm taking a shit, right? I just got, but I have, I have my phone on, on, this, on this thing in the bathroom. So I'm laughing my ass off, right? So I called Duval. I called Duval, I said, I said, man, Andrew's so fucking stupid, man. Because I don't, I, it's certain people you know going to appreciate those jokes. <laughs> so I called Duval I go This motherfucker just text me Talk about white boy Some of this canceled And then Duval goes Why? Because of the Derek Chauvin verdict And I go yeah He goes Tell him tweet that shit right now So I can report <laughs> it and I, go, and I go I go hold on Let me call him Let me call him So we love, we bring Andrew in Andrew answers the phone He goes guys 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 Stop crying Stop crying It's Charla Stop crying Stop crying, right? Stop crying, right? <laughs> this guy's so fucking stupid. And so Duval's like, tweet this shit right now so I can repost it. And I'm like, no, no. This is how we should do it. Because it's a joke there. The joke is when you find out that White Boy Summer's officially canceled and you put that confused look Derek Chauvin had on in the courts. That's yeah. the joke. You know what I'm saying? If Schultz would have just tweeted out White boy, something was officially canceled. It, it jumped on his risky. ass. Yeah. Could be a little risky. It could be a little risky. That's all. But I understood where the joke was coming from. So it's just like, let's beat it up. Let's vet it. You know what I mean? So my, my, my point is, I love that Andrew's always trying to find the funny in everything. And I hate that he's always trying to find the funny in everything. Because <laughs> it's, it's a world of landmines, bro. Right, well, yes, wax. it is. What about wax? But do I, 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 I love that Wax is fearless and I hate that Wax is fearless. <laughs> yeah, That's same. Because like, yeah. he's setting himself up to get knocked out by Jake Paul for no goddamn reason. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why he would do that to himself, I, I, I bro. I love I that do not Charlemagne know. pays attention, but I don't like that Charlemagne don't pay no attention. <laughs> <laughs> I pay, what about Andrew? You ain't paying attention. <laughs> Uh, I the same thing with Andrew. Like I love that Andrew likes to make the funny and everything, but when like it was th- times like this when he know better. He, no, 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 no. He don't know better. He I don't. knows. No, he don't. No, he don't. He I knows don't. for a fact that he'd give Jake. He'd be in a ring with Jake Paul way more than than longer than me for sure. Yeah, but both uh-huh. of y'all gonna lose. I know for a fact he'll probably last rounds with this guy. He won't last around with me, and Jake Paul won't last around with me either. You gonna wear a condom? <laughs> <laughs> that shit sounded wild just now, didn't it? <laughs> God damn. So, if you wear a condom, you might can last a little longer, bro. God so, damn. I leave that consideration. I Speaking think about that. Of fucking Guap Boy 96 wants to know Would you rather your son look better than you or fuck better than you? Oh, come on. I don't give a fuck. Even both of them. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, uh, both yeah it's your done. son. You're rooting okay. for him. I have You're my not for already. My bad, my bad, my bad. Son, my you bad. can have it all, okay. nigga. Okay. Yeah. Um, <coughs> sorry. Be the uh, last one. Make it a good one, Taylor Gang. Is society... Oh, sorry. Suave and Nas. Let's know. Is society pushing 
pushing people to be single longer or married sooner with his innovations? Is society single pushing longer. people to be single longer or married single sooner? Single longer. 100%. That's, well, that's what's going to happen. Pussy's just on your phone, married, so. swipes away. A girl just come to your house after you just swipe over. It's, be- it's so easy to meet a girl. You have all these options, like... And also, like, all the women that you see online don't look the same that they do in person. So now you're constantly looking for this thing that isn't even real. Single longer, single longer, single longer, and it's bad. Negative side effects of this. This is not good for society. Shit, I think that is going... I think it's pushing us to be married longer because I would not want to be single in this social media era, bro. There's no no privacy. You know what I'm saying? There's no secrecy. Everybody know what you're doing. Everybody know who you're doing it with. You could be out here laying in the bed with another girl. She might put you on Instagram. For me, I like the fact that I'm married and I'm happy and I know my partner and it's no fucking surprises. I'm cool. I Personally, the innovation, the technology makes me feel like I want to be married longer. Like, I'm not going nowhere. Yeah, me too. It, it sucks. There's no more privacy. There's no. You can't even hide. Like, I used to have, like to have sex because I know I wasn't supposed to be doing it. But now it's like everybody knows it's like a job. It just sucks. Mm. All losing. Wait, enough. sorry. I have one more question. Leon okay. underscore Huffman Jr. wants to know, if life were a video game, what would some of the cheat codes be? If life were a video game, what are the cheat codes? Ooh, that's a Did great The same one. thing in Contra. Well, two things, right? The the one in Contra that gives you multiple lives. Mm-hmm. If we have multiple lives, we'd be some reckless motherfuckers out here. Um, yeah. And I mean, that would be a cheat code too because you just constantly get an opportunity to keep coming back, getting it right, right? Yeah. Um, and uh, agelessness. Because video game characters don't age. But then I wonder about that, too. I wonder if, you know, I mean, clearly we're supposed to age because we do. But I really do feel like things get better with age. Things get better with time. I think, you know, people get better with the more experience they got. They get better with the more wisdom they got. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like I like aging. I do. I'm I'm looking at 62. I'm looking at like, damn, I can't wait to be 62, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because then my my, all my kids, like my oldest would be 30 something. Rest of them would be in their 20s. And they'll be having their own lives, you know what I'm saying? I need like to sit back and watch. Man, I was looking at Master P today with his two sons, Hersey and Mercy. It's dope. That's dope as fuck. Hersey going to Tennessee, Tennessee State University on a full scholarship. Right. Mercy's a freshman. Him and Hersey and Mercy just won state championship in in high school this year. Beat bronze son's team. Oh. You know what I mean? His his son's a freshman in high school. He already got a scholarship to the University of Minnesota if he wants to go. That's being a man. Man. Kids yo. And all that type of shit. That's what it's all about. That's Yo, that's, that shit is dope. I ain't gonna lie. I, that shit, I can't Jesus wait. blessings, man. Another blessing. Another day that God gave us, so... Cherish it. And it's just Master P's like, yo, music is dead. This is what it's about, me being a father. I'm out here pushing my products. I got my sons out here. My son, he was like, yo, he was like, it ain't a dream of mine for my sons to go to the NBA. I would love for them to, but I'm teaching them business. He's like, I want Mm -hmm. my, his son is majoring in engineering. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Like, he wants his son to be an engineer. Bio. His other mm. son is talking he want to be a biochemist. Something. He was like, I, I want my kids to go to school and get the education, and then we're going to go mm. out be out here running these damn businesses, running these companies. Oh, like, that. you already see Romeo. Romeo out here living his best life. Like, Pete oh. did a good job. Like, that shit is inspiring, job, man. Pete. I just want to raise yeah. great kids. I want to be 62, 72, watching my kids get old, watching them live their life, watching them be the, the entrepreneurs and business people that they going to be. That's what I want. I can't wait to... I, I need Viagra. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck? I'm just saying, I, when I need Viagra, that means I'm old enough to where I need this. My shit ain't going to move unless I put a Viagra in it. But what? You, like, that's I, what that's you a say after... Age. Wait, what y'all mean to say? That's a certain age. Right. Like, that's grown right. old. you like, 70, 70... <laughs> when, when your meat start working? 70? Depends. Lord Depends Jesus. on your diet. The way your stomach look now, I say you got... <laughs> 53. 53, you're going to need Viagra. Yeah, I not worried. That's, that's it, guys. That's it, babies. All right. Listen, man. Um, you know, as always, we record at WTF Media Studios. You can go to WTF Media Studios.com uh to book your appointment, okay, at a 60% black owned um studio. <laughs> All right. As always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening.